Hey, we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Rolling up, I'm feeling fly, yeah, I'm so damn fresh. Got your platinum grill, bringing in the chest. Diamonds in my mouth, shining when I speak. That umbrella guy, Boston speaking geek. Ice on my teeth, I'm dripping so hard. Platinum grills, I'm the king of the boulevard. Throwing money in the club, making haters mad. I'm the baddest in the game, no one gets a pass. Oh yeah. Crushing all these lines, yeah, I feel fly Rolling on the dubs, that umbrella guy Iced out flow on the boulevard You ain't a comic gangster, don't be playing hard Ice on my teeth, I'm flying so high Dropping the bass, that umbrella guy One girl to rule them all, one girl to bind them Baby, I'm so iced out, gonna blind them Rolling in town, I'm an army of one Doing verbal walk by blazing like the sun Riding in my whip, brushing false accusers Dropping off the base on the real abusers yeah. Living life fast, no time for the slow Justice on my mind, stacking up on that flow Life in the fast lane, no time to blink Ice on my teeth, watch it when I speak Chilling on my rhymes, never missing the beat Ice on my teeth, yeah, I'm living that sweet That umbrella guy bringing the platinum heat Crushing every hate and no time for defeat, ooh yeah Ooh yeah, what's up Jeff, by the way? Hey, hey. Oh, I feel, I feel overdressed <laughs> there. there you go There you go, yeah, man <laughs> Yeah, get on our level which is, uh, <laughs> Night icon. streams, night streams with a tug is camera off, man Because yeah. I've had it, I've had enough by now <laughs> I can take off this uh, stupid hat, there we go uh, <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like I'm back in high school and, and my chess club or my D&D &D group finished and, and then the football player said hi to me in the hallway Hi guys <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm see. with the cool kids now. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, ro roll for charisma now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, got, I got that in spades. Natural 20 here, baby. <laughs> Natural 20. It's like I got a magic weapon plus five, baby. Well, good morning, Tug. Good morning, yeah. Megan. Good morning, David Gringa. Yeah. He apparently <laughs> loves us. He apparently, uh, apparently, apparently making fun of him last night. He, um, He's wishing a little death yeah. on some people. Just He's a death. My That's all. <laughs> just uh, dead. He just wants us dead. That's all. It's okay. You, you call a guy <laughs> tramp stamp lawyer 45, 50 times, and they blow their lid. I mean, what the fuck's going on? And then they what wish you dead. Like, that clears it all up. Okay, I guess he's not a tramp stamp lawyer. He'll, he'll <laughs> <be dead. laughs> he cleared it up yeah. really well. Yeah, yeah, he, he really is me. a nice guy. Yeah. He is firing off more blog posts than, you know, like the guy who discovered WordPress in 1992. He is just, he is, <laughs> he is all over it. He just posted a new one. Uh, yeah, like We're I old. We all up. know what WordPress is. Nobody else. I, I does. can't keep up, man. I can't. Word keep star. Up with this. Word star. I can't keep up with him. Honest to God. <laughs> I, uh, I've never seen a lawyer do this ever in my life. I love it. I love it, man. I hope, <laughs> he, gets, I hope he gets even crazier. I want him but, to be like. But Jeff, want... he's a great lawyer. He told well, you so himself. <laughs> hell yeah. He's 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 the. He's the uh, I almost said Mark Furman of Twitter. He's the he's Mark Conor Furman. McGregor. He's the Conor McGregor of the Mark Furman. litigation. I like that. Yeah. Oh my God, he's the Mark Zuckerberg of. You're like, wait a minute, <laughs> the Mark Zuckerberg of Twitter. That would really work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. By the way, let me say this while we're getting going. Uh, welcome to everybody. Welcome out there, by the way. Uh, yes. And if you like this channel, support it, please. <laughs> uh, we keep getting demonetized for I don't know why. I blame it on Megan. I don't blame it on me. It's always yeah, it, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. I, and that's why I had Jeff on. I was thinking maybe he would cancel out that. No, I'm just oh kidding. no, it just it just it just, it just doubles your problems. <laughs> it doubles it. <laughs> That's why we hide our faces. It's shame. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it's not anonymity, it's shame. shame. <laughs> I'm not hiding it from the audience, I'm hiding it from God. <laughs> <You're> like, oh, <laughs> no. Just like Adam. I yeah. Now shame. I remember that uh, God, what is that? That French cuisine where they eat like a bird, you know, almost oh, yeah, they, and you're supposed yeah. to cover your face. You know? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like the uh the live stream version of that. <laughs> anyway, let's let's pull up some wonderful documents. Megan, you got one of the archives because Here's the thing. Apparently, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at this yet, but there were some people saying uh, maybe some changes happened overnight. Maybe, maybe some post regret. No. <laughs> some post regret. Yeah. 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 So let's see. I'm going to make sure I got the right one here because, yeah. Okay. So we should read the archived one first and then we can go to the you know, the new and improved version, shall we say? So, so, uh, Mr. Uh, Douche Canoe has a, a Mr. Douche Canoe Esquire, excuse me. Esquire. Don't ever forget the Esquire. Yeah, I know. Don't forget the Esquire. He I'll tell has... you how you can identify a Douche Canoe lawyer. They actually put Esquire after their name. <laughs> right. Right. Mr. Douche Canoe Esquire has a blog. That blog wished some death on some people. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> I told I told you last night. I was like, he's going to lose his shit after this live stream. I, I was like, there is no way he's not going to flip out about it. And then he did. He flipped out, which is beautiful. Well, that's don't talk bad about my homie David he's Gringa. The, he's the Conor McGregor. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's the Conor McGregor of litigators, so he's going to go off because he's Conor McGregor Conor of alligators. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. This is the unredacted. Don't uh, sue me, bro. I'm just kidding. Don't sue me, man. He, I don't even he, remember. He, well, well, you know what's funny about this is he says he protects our right to say anything. Okay, that that's cool. I can say anything even if I'm totally wrong. That's what it says. Well, so that's what he says. Yeah. yeah. So if he starts suing and shit, I, I guess, you know, oopsie, I guess you lied, fucker. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> deal with it. I, I know, you know, it's weird. It's really weird. He is like throwing around all these tweets about suing people and how everyone is going to be sued and we better get tents because we're going to need tents to live in, I guess. That's what he's saying. He, but he's comparing us to Alex Jones and that lawsuit that he lost. And I'm like, <laughs> dude. Dude, I hate to break it to you. You're going to be so disappointed when you find out that I'm worth about $38. <laughs> you can have my mom minivan. Like, what are you going to take from me exactly? Like, my my YouTube my YouTube uh, uh, revenue, is it's not much. I mean. No. He, he wants any copyrighted terms, though. He wants to call himself medium smart. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does he want? Yeah, I guess he could want that. It would be a step up from where he is, though. I'm I'm sensing some maybe some political bias. Donald Trump, re Alex Jones, re. <laughs> you, re I, I, you think so? I mean, we <laughs> gave you that idea. clues into his political leanings. I believe. Oh. Yeah, I kind of I kind of noticed. Hey, give me one second. I got a a little one wanting milk real quick. So just give me one second. I'll <laughs> Already, back. it's gonna yeah. be. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. She, I'm telling you, she's got. <laughs> I got her set up and everything, and it was at, it was at five o'clock. I was like, "All right, you're set here." I was I told her I'm gonna live stream in an, in an hour, and she's like, "Yeah, Dad, that's good. I got everything." Blah blah blah. I'm like, right when it turns on, she can't hear any of the music come on, but she hears me start talking, and she's like, "Oh, right there, gotcha." You know, <laughs> now's when I'm going. Sucker. So, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jeff. Yes, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, <laughs> shall I say? Jeff slash yeah. Elaine. Yeah. How are you, buddy? I'm 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 fair to middle and I said sort of, I've been awake 23 minutes, so everything's good so far. God. <laughs> Nothing terrible has happened just yet, but you know, let's have to sleep. Well, I think it's funny that this guy thinks that we're somehow comparable to Donald Trump's defamation suit and what somebody got there and Alex Jones, who's worth 50 million or whatever, however many well, millions he's worth. It's I funny to me. We like, what's he going to get? $3,200? That's about what my YouTube channel is yeah. worth. I mean, well, we, like... we have more than 312 followers on Twitter, though. So, you know, he just assumed. He, could he take my Twitter account? Does he want to start operating my Twitter account? Should Should I hand over it? My This is all because I don't believe this woman is credible, right? I don't. 
agree that this woman is credible in any way. She sure doesn't uh, seem credible yeah, to no. me. She hasn't seemed credible to me from day one. Furthermore, you know what pisses me off about these people who defamation lawyers who think they can throw around the word defamation is I do feel like they don't get, like, is he not understanding for a defamation attorney? He needs to understand like what that really means. Absolutely. Nobody involved in this <laughs> has ever from, from day one been like, Oh, we just maliciously want to take this person down. We've been like, why is, why does none of this make any sense? Come on, Megan. He's been involved in 79 federal trials. <laughs> See, he could have been cool about that. That's what I was saying last night. He should have been like, I've been involved in 69 plus 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. And the funny thing is, like, you know, sorry to burst your bubble, dude, but federal court is no different than your county court. It just happens to be in, in front of a judge with a nicer courtroom. That's true. I, I was so mystified by that the, the tweet yesterday that I sent you, Megan, where he says, I have interrogated this client looking for any speck of reason to think she's lying. In 24 years of legal practice, I don't think I've ever heard a more heard or seen a more credible witness. Her answers are clear, <laughs> short, believable. Watch the trial and I'll bet you. Oh, I'm going to watch the trial and we'll, we'll see. What did he, he offered like a thousand dollars for something? What was that? He did. I don't know. Did I, he? I missed was, that. Well, there was what something. That? He, is there gripping cash like, out there for me to get? Because I'm going to need it. Apparently, he, I'm going to need it. He bet, a, I think it was $1,000. Oh, yeah. Someone said that he, he'll be gone by the end of the month. And he said, I'll bet you $1,000 for my own money that I'll be there till the end of trial in June. So he I said, put, he put up be. your money. And yeah. he said, actually, he said put the money in an escrow account. So, well, yeah, I'd stick around for $1,000 from somebody. Hell. I think that he <laughs> is going to stick around because he's found a piggy bank. Whose parents, whose re wealthy parents, are willing to throw any amount of money into into whatever project she wants to keep her happy and quiet, and that just happens to be suing random people for shit they didn't do. That's I what have she a problem likes to do. Though. I think I have ethics uh, <laughs> because we you know, we lose a lot of clients because if you have a shit case, we'll say, look, you have a shit case, uh, and you're going to lose. And we don't want to take your money, so you'll hate us after you lose. And then they go, okay, well, I'm going to go to someone else. And then they lose. Then they come back and go, oh, we should have listened to you. We're like, yeah, now your fees doubled. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm not saying she's going to lose, gringa. Don't worry. I'm just you know, hypothetically throwing out there. <laughs> I'm saying they're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, that's defamation. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm terrified. What's going to happen to my poor life? Man, what's he going to... I told him I would switch sides if he'll get a tramp stamp with that umbrella guy on his back. <laughs> I would switch sides. He's got to jiggle it, though. Jiggle, jiggle, oh. jiggle it. Great. Oh. Now I'm not having a good day anymore. If that's in my head. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll, uh, if he did that, I would upload it. Anytime you come on a stream, I would upload it as your <laughs> intro. I'd be like, now we yeah. have Jeff. Jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. Jiggle, jiggle. Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, Tug, though, is going to have to show you his um, his, his what? douche canoe voice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I remember half of last night, man. I was so out of it. It was so um, funny. Oh. Tug was so caffeinated up. He was so hyped up on caffeine. Yeah. Um, I, I was lurking. No, I, was, I was tired, <laughs> is what it was. Like, I'd. Huh, we had we had been on a business thing for like 13 hours. I didn't sleep the night before. All I did is try to stay awake on caffeine. I was like, am I awake? <laughs> is this and real? then you're just sick when you wake up the next morning after oh, the yeah. caffeine. Huh? No, and this is worse. So I, I said yesterday, uh, somebody somebody sent me some a manga, like a, some good manga, and there were there were two titles that were wrapped. They're usually explicit in some way, you know. Sometimes they could be violent or whatever. Yeah, one of them I wish I wouldn't have unrammed. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, maybe, God. maybe the title quote inside the tentacle cave should have given it away. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that guy who got caught with tentacle porn on his oh, computer wow. desktop online on the news? Probably every kid that's ever oh, had a I remember computer. that. Where he, yeah, no, it where wasn't he was a, like, he oh, yeah. It, he watched it with his kids. Yeah, oh, he said he watched it. With oh, his oh, kids. No. oh, no. Who was yeah, that? I was just showing them what to not watch on lunch. <laughs> Who was that? 
<laughs> Who was that I, guy? I, I cannot you remember. Made fun his of name. him for months. Yeah, and I can't was, even remember. That his was name hilarious. At, what, is that the Ike Wall? Yeah, Eichenwald. yeah, that, that's it. Kurt Eichenwald. Eichenwald. You're right, Jim. Thank you, Kurt Eichenwald. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Worst excuse ever. Oh, it was my kids were showing it to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, my kids don't need to show me none of that. What's this, Dad? It's a reason to get the fuck off the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's called now you lose the Wi-Fi password. Dang. <laughs> I mean, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave it up on your browser tab while you're doing interviews, oh for fuck's God. sake. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're doing an interview <laughs> with the media. I was just like, I went through I can't remember the first one I got. It was it was it was uh it was violence, you know, it had been, it had been sealed because of just extreme violence and gore. I was like, okay, maybe the other one. I didn't even read the title. I just popped the other one open. And I was like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> I flipped it over title inside the tentacle cave. I was like, uh-huh. Oh my God. That's, that's a valuable lesson though. Always read the title first. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, in this anyway. case, you can judge a book by its cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes much like this case, much like a lawyer who types out he wants to dance on my grave. Maybe <laughs> I can. <can't laughs> no, no, no. He's gonna read your obituary first, though, yeah. and then throw it in the trash, and then do a jig on your grave or something. I, I'm not sure. You have to admit that was a great transition, by the way. I just kind of slipped tentacle <laughs> porn in. With the <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Ugh. All right, let's hit this. Pretty good. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Are you are you going to read this for us? Tommy? Oh, am I reading? Oh, okay, my bad. I, I don't. Well, you know, I didn't know. I, I, I was I was like, okay, yeah. I'll read it. Oh man, <laughs> I I gotta remember how <laughs> deep voice Valley Girl goes. Hello, no, I'm going to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That's I think what I was doing. Deep voice valley girl. Mm. Yes, deep Hello. voice valley girl. Hello and warm welcome. I can't even do that. Warm <laughs> warm welcome to three people who follow this page. Oh shit. That is the saddest thing I've heard. You know this. I went through his uh all of his posts, his screes, because I was curious, you know, if he's getting any uh he one of them actually got like five or six thousand embedded views. So I was curious how many people were liking. Off five, almost I think it was fifty three hundred and something. Five likes, <laughs> and it wasn't about the case. It was like, you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. You know, I think it was advertising services. You know, that's how I took it. <laughs> He was like, you butter my biscuit, you know, oh, I'll slather no. your bread. I was like, what? Well, just don't get him talking about pricks again, because that was uncomfortable. <laughs> my God. I'm telling you, I thought we were filming some kind of explicit content or something. As many was, pricks as he put was, in it. <laughs> I was re-listening back to last night's stream and my absolute favorite moment where I fell out laughing in the car. I almost drove off the road. <laughs> Doug goes, this is like a homosexual orgy. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds there, me, you know. Is there uh, any other kind? <laughs> yes. Borgias. It reminds me of the Borgias. I'm like, wait, what the oh, what? No. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Peace be with you, though. That's awesome. I like how you put it. alaikum, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved oh, no. off Twitter. F you, Elon. And my first non exter exter zitter that's a zitter zitter, zitter. Oh, Jesus. oh my god that sounds like a product you know yeah feeling a little broke out on your back after a tram stamp get zitter <laughs> after your zitter in the tentacle cave of porn you're like you part the back hairs and notice that your tram stamp's getting a little unwieldy <laughs> get zitter zitter Mm, sexy oh, gross <laughs> but, which was it really about clayton ecker case i promise i would say more when i could so let's do that a lot happened today so let me explain earlier today clayton's lawyer filed a motion asking withdrawal a motion for sanctions he filed january 3rd 2024 here's what he filed and by <laughs> the way this is before it hit the docket, and this is not the stamped version of it. Like, lawyers don't do this. It's not the tramp stamped version? It's not the tramp stamped <laughs> version of the, do of the document. It's just weird that he's releasing legal documents that aren't I even like. his own now. 
<laughs> totally. Um, the chat is saying that you need more caffeine to get the voice right. Oh my god! <laughs> you, I think I found to... it. I had to think. I, I kept thinking Valley Girl. I was like, no, it's 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 all of that. Uh, this it's, I forgot. It's, it's, it's Cat Tin Vocal bar. Fry. Yes, it's it's vocal. you got to light up the cigar. Light up the cigar <laughs> so you get that nicotine vocal. <laughs> that's, cord what I, that's what I was hitting there. Yeah, you're a you're a a fellow cigar smoker, aren't you? Yeah. Jeff smokes yeah. a pipe. <laughs> And a cigar. I had somebody yeah. send me a box of Alma Fortes, you know? Oh. Yeah, nice. yeah. They're, oh, I'm like, mm, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, I, I remember my voice now. I'm totally <laughs> back. Okay, what does it mean? How does this affect the case? Does that mean Clayton lost? What's going on? True answer. True answer. He was going to give us a false answer at first. That's amazing. <laughs> it actually it does not matter that much. It's not Let me all. explain. The timeline of this is important. So let's recap. <laughs> Four scoring seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> My client, Laura, filed a paternity case August 1st, 2023. Clayton filed what is known as a response. <laughs> Oh my god, he thinks, he thinks we're in kindergarten. Oh my god. This guy. This guy Wait. does not know who he's talking to, does he? What's known as a <gasps> response. Yeah. When I ask a question, totally people do this thing called a reply. <laughs> you get on my level. <laughs> okay. okay. The respondent is the guy who responds. <laughs> For all of you, you special ed kids out there, it was yeah. just what he called us special ed. We're special Did ed. He call us cockroaches in this one here. Oh yeah, something? it gets or, it gets yeah. ugly. I'm like, you know, he he spends a lot of time talking about pricks and cocks. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> send, him the, send him the tentacle porn edition. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, ooh la la. I it's think he would like that too much. Yeah. It's yeah. just like my uh, dungeon from when I was a kid <laughs> at my parents' house, allegedly. <laughs> you like that? I put allegedly just to. Yeah. <laughs> He's lawyer splaining. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> lawyer splaining. <laughs> That's what he needs on his, t his tramp stamp. He needs that right there. Lawyer splaining. <laughs> oh. His response basically said, No, I'm not the dad. Let's get a test and confirm I'm not the dad. And then this will go away. A standard stuff. Okay. Fair enough. In late September or early October 2023, Laura and Clayton submitted samples for early testing. Those samples came back inconclusive. Now, Jeff, I know you don't speak lawyer and medical, but inconclusive... That, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, well, well I, I would I would beg to differ. They didn't come back inconclusive. They came back little or no DNA, little or no fetal DNA. That's different than inconclusive. Right. And and, and he goes on to say, well, it'll get there. I think we if it's just this one, but he says there wasn't enough tissue sample. But it was a blood what? test. It was a blood a test. Tissue. You you know. Hobo? Uh, they're not it's what, it's like think they're sampling bread. the fetal tissue. Yeah, it's I, like I we guess. should have sent in an arm. Oh my god, well, I mean, what the <laughs> fuck does he think this is? I don't know, but it was a he says right here that it was a didn't it say no, it just says samples. Oh my god, I can't even. I, I, I whatever. I, I don't I know, like I said last guy. night. <laughs> This this case taught me one thing. I'm glad as a kid I had my tonsils removed because I can't get pregnant. I love it. Yeah. It's not really being a man. No, no, no. It's because I have no tonsils. <laughs> Whew, thank God. All right, where we were? Here we go. Da, 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 let me. Oh, inconclusive. That's right. Okay, I've I've lost explain that one. Let me get back to this. <laughs> Laura claims. She had bleeding in mid-November 2023, and she went to the OBGYN for care. They confirmed the pregnancy ended around that time. Yes, Clayton says the whole thing was a sham, but that's another issue. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, now, did, did they confirm in quotes the pregnancy ended, or did they confirm that she's not pregnant? As Those far are as, different. No, as far as I know, she reported that she yeah. was no longer 
that she had a miscarriage to them. This isn't, as far as I know, from what has been given in, you know, from what we know through the filings, through the deposition and yeah. whatnot, there were only records that existed were for two telehealth doctors. She said she went to a telemedicine doctor, like online, and told the doctor she was she had passed these fetal sacs. And the doctor allegedly told her, you're no longer pregnant. No need to come in. You're fine. <laughs> I'm just repeating what was said in the deposition. Okay. I know I sound like a crazed lunatic. I do realize that. But these are not my, this is not my story. Well, in fairness, I, I love you these sound excuses. that way whether we're talking about this case or not. I love these excuses though. She wasn't filming OnlyFans when she peed on the camera. Yeah. That's a that's oh. a medical test. Oh, Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> oh God. No, she oh. did five Rhea, she did five pee tests. Oh yeah. She's had she has multiple. She can pee positive anytime she wants. She's got like a special gift. It's like being an X-Men. But her <laughs> that's your power. <laughs> I would feel really gypped if my power was to test positive on pregnancy. Damn. No, she's, she's, she's it's on like the a evil Saturday side. night live. It's like a Saturday night live skit for X Men that never went anywhere. You know, like they're and at the bar and everyone's drinking, and they're like, "What was what was your skill?" And she's <laughs> like, "I can pee positive anytime I want to." You know, yeah. she, she's on you the want me to show side. you. She's like, That's her evil me. plan is to <laughs> trick everyone into thinking she's pregnant around the world. No, no, it's a money making thing. She's like, I'll show you for a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, right here on the bar, baby. You're like, uh uh, no. <sighs> I do have to say that I feel so gaslighted by this entire event. Like I've felt this way before at certain points during this investigation or whatever. In covering the story, I have felt so gaslighted. Like, is there, is there some, it, did she, was she <laughs> like, I, and, and then yeah. my, then my, my other side of my brain that comes in and goes, shut the fuck up. There's no evidence <laughs> of this. Why are you fucking saying that maybe this could have happened? Don't listen. You're being, you're being scammed, but you're like, but wait, no, she's like a really good con artist. And I've, I'm, I'm like getting roped in and I'm like, wait, well, maybe she thought she was. And then also doctored a sonogram and, and, and also <laughs> wore a fake yeah, that's, I, uh, She's the con Irma Gregor of fake. <laughs> that, that's why they brought up con Irma Gregor. He was like, con, wink, wink. You didn't catch that? My three peeps that are reading? Oh, Lord. Okay, let me see. Okay, cool. We all know the timeline. Let's move on. <laughs> People are saying you sound like Paul Lynn. <laughs> Somebody kept saying I sounded like uh, you oh do. God, what, what's his face that ran Hustler magazine? Uh, Larry, Larry Flynn. Flynn. <laughs> yeah, Larry they were Flynn. like, it's Larry Flynn's son. I was like, no. I think if you sound like Paul Lynn, that's pretty good. He's, and you're, you're making all the sexual innuendo jokes and talking about gay stuff. So, hey, you are Paul Lynn. It's so sexy. You take the center square. He does sound like Paul Lynn. Now I'm not going like, to. I'm going to take that center square. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not going to unhear it now. Thanks, Jeff. I, so I told you. If he's mad about coverage, I, I'm, I'm, I said tramp stamp. Again. Umbrella, that umbrella guy tramp gotta stamp. have an umbrella guy tramp stamp <laughs> gotta make sure that he, he keeps calling he keeps complaining about me getting my benjamins by the way if you like the channel super chat love you <laughs> but he complains about it he's like i'm the only one not getting paid for writing this <laughs> you know so i'm like put it out there you know i i, I i'll even be nice i'll, I'll slice you off 10 percent of it <laughs> Yeah. Keep those super chats coming, by the way, because wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> because okay, you know anyway. this is going to be demonetized. We can't. We yeah, can't yeah, I get the feeling. I, <laughs> I, I, YouTube I, is so messed up. up. It is, you know. I I complain about that because, like, we do all the jokes we tell about some of this stuff. That's not what gets us demonetized. It's the subject matter, and yeah, these are when somebody my, is. My Bridge of the Baltimore Bridge case on Monday got demonetized, and I still can't figure that one out. Yeah, of course it did, because they're they're trying to crack down on anything that they think is disinformation or misinformation, and everyone talking about it except for you was like, it's a it's a conspiracy. <laughs> no, I got a I got a better one. So when uh, when all that stuff came up with Amber Heard and Australia, you know, I ended up uh, 
I ended up breaking that story. And when I did, YouTube flagged down the live stream. They flagged another live stream that had been privated and removed for two weeks. So I couldn't appeal that when I, I finally got that, that reverse though. But the media covered it six months later. Same thing that I'd, I'd broken six yeah. months before. It went everywhere, media covering it. And YouTube's like, yeah, that's good now. I said, like, fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's the anyway. YouTube is asshole. Like, that's my motto. And no, I'm sticking I love it. my pay overlords. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Monetize me. May I have some monetize more? me. Uh, yeah, monetize me. I love Monetize you. me harder, daddy. <laughs> In the cave of tentacles. <laughs> uh, I, tell, oh, I, I was like... You know, sometimes you do really smart things and sometimes you don't read the title of a book before thinking maybe that might scar you all day. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. Anyway, I, I love the text. Book. I love the text you sent me and you were like, I regret opening the monk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mentioned that to, to Megan because we were talking about it last night. Let me let me find that. I was that. sure he was opening it on stream because I heard crinkling. I'm like, you're doing it now? That's so gross. <laughs> He's like, no, I swear it's just the bag. And then this more like a couple hours ago, he goes, I regret opening the yeah, manga. I, I told her, quote, I was like, I looked at the manga someone gave me, by the way, I mentioned on stream. Holy God. I should have kept the mask <laughs> on. And Megan, of course, consoling me, says the following. Let me quote. <clears throat> <laughs> no, no. I was like, it's funny because they wrap controversial titles for violence, gore, sometimes even, you know, less like bad language, but sometimes. LOL. <laughs> I guess the title should have given it away. Inside the Tentacle Cave, my life is an absurdity some days. <laughs> that is the actual text. <laughs> well, dang, people only send me cookies. Jeez. I have so I have so much empathy, don't I? As I laugh hysterically at you and your uh, and your discomfort. Oh. <laughs> I told you not to open it. No one listens to me. <laughs> Jeez, I, I hope you keep those in your gun safe so the kids don't oh, come across. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna keep it in my fireplace. I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For safekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, maybe the shredder is a better place for that. And I mean, I have, you know, objectionable, like like Berserk has all kinds of crazy stuff yeah. in it. You know, it's objectionable, but it's awesome. It's a great series, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, so many like that, some of those come wrapped. So it's, you know, again, <laughs> it's not normal. <laughs> but again, lesson, read the title. If the title says... Tentacle and inside assume, you know. It's not about Cthulhu. Well, maybe it is, but yeah. it's not the kind of Cthulhu Lovecraft would have wanted. Well, maybe it is. Tim Swope, Tim Swope says you need a cross shredder for that. <laughs> a cross shredder? Yeah, one that says like Hail Mary's while I'm talking about it. <laughs> it's the sign of the cross on it. <laughs> and some holy water doused oh, yeah. on it afterwards. Okay, okay. Back to back to the subject. I got totally off in the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the tentacles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. The next thing that happened in early December 2023 inside the tentacle cave. No. <laughs> uh. Court administration said they would dismiss the case for lack of prosecution. Hey, roll it up a little bit if you would. So I can see it. Um, I'm about to run into it. There we go. Yeah. Is that higher enough? Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good right there. <laughs> that is normal. <laughs> It's very normal. If it's normal, like three inches on the man that's writing this, it's totally <laughs> average. It happens in any case. Wait, three inches isn't normal? What? Oh. <laughs> it's like men with a tramp stamp and three inches. That's a real man. Oh, <laughs> shoot, I'm safe then. Okay. <laughs> I was worried there for a minute. <laughs> It happens any case when the case appears to be inactive. Court administration will just drop the case, although it may be refiled later. Maybe. <laughs> if Clayton had done nothing, the case would have been administratively dismissed. He could have called that a win and gone home, but he didn't. That is so douchey right there. Here's the question. Would this dude, I mean, for real, would you have just called it a would win? Would you have just after called it a day? Yeah, six figures on that. Would you have just been like, eh, 
I'm good to well, go. Actually, there happens to be a case against this guy, against Douche Canoe, which I wasn't actually going to talk about publicly, but it fits here. So <clears throat> there was a case against him when he was in his 20s that looked to me to be probably some kind of false allegation. And he got charged with like 12 counts of something. And uh, it got dismissed eventually. But you know what he did? He hired a big time attorney. Of course. And, and <laughs> of he course. went after it. And eventually the prosecutor who was involved got uh, disbarred, not for what she did in his case, but for something she did in another case. And it sounded to me like she was just kind of a shit show. But, um, but yeah, he pushed back r real hard against the charges against him which is his right to do and i would never imagine that he would have just gone oh, i'll just you know i'll just do nothing and it'll be administratively dismissed yeah you really? calling it a win and it being a win are two different things you know actually get the win if you're already in it for that much money yeah somebody's gonna you, you don't get your reputation back when you just walk away and i it sounds like Again, if that case is the way he read it there, it sounds like uh, he understood that for himself, but doesn't understand it when it comes to his paycheck. I mean, client. All right. So here's where things are going to get tricky, by the way. <laughs> it's going to turn tricky. You know what's funny <laughs> is that I can't tell the difference between what you're ad-libbing and what you're reading unless I look at the page. <laughs> Me too. I was just going to say that. I'm like, did she, does it really say that? Does it really say that? Oh really say that? It does. <laughs> It totally does. Since he wrote about me being a cockroach, I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just scurrying through the page and <laughs> dropping off a little something. I mean, letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You ever, you ever, you ever listen to yourself on stream and think, "Holy shit! Did I actually say all that? That's hilarious." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I was listening I to last night's stream back and I was dying laughing. I was, I was in the car for a while today and I was just, I was laughing. You were so funny last night, Tug. That was a magical, I have to say. <laughs> I only do that when I get the text from Megan in the morning going, oh, I just, oh my God, I just put you all over my podcast today. I'm like, oh, what did I say now? <laughs> <laughs> Megan's funny. I'm like, man, you know, we I would catch her on other shows, but for some reason, you know, we just never cross collab. And, and now that's been, it's been fun. I'm like, <laughs> you'll bring out the best in my voice. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's been a lot of fun, Tug. It has. I'm going to get a tramp stamp with Megan's <laughs> face on it. It's going to say, I too am medium smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can burn water, but I can also spit facts. I don't swallow facts. I spit them. <laughs> I remember saying that last night. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Okay. In fairness to Clayton, the motion is <laughs> the motion to dismiss filed by Laura's first lawyer was technically wrong. Technically. Although the miscarriage mooted most, most. Wait, wait, time out. He thinks that was her first lawyer that filed the motion to dismiss? Yes. <laughs> <After the 14th>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he oh, my sweet know, summer child. He still doesn't know that he's number 13. It's the uh, first baker's dozen. Come on, get him on a level. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Sorry. To <laughs> of course, we are counting her lawyers from other cases. That where she's done this like we're not it's not the 13th lawyer in this case it's still she's, not the first <laughs> no it's not the first no it's not because she had at least two other attorneys in this case maybe three two two at anyway. least yeah, i would i would answer all of you like this way. i'd be like yeah there were other bodies filling the seat but i'm the first <laughs> lawyer <laughs> <laughs> that's the way i would answer it <laughs> but if he if he steals my line by the way i, I 90% commission, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Although the miscarriage muted most, most of the case, Clayton did ask for sanctions in the response, and that issue was not moot despite the miscarriage. Based on this, I agree. As the court later ruled, the whole thing could not be dismissed as moot. This isn't a huge deal. <laughs> this isn't a huge deal. It's okay. not. Okay. It just means that even if Laura was no longer pregnant, 
Clayton still had a score to settle. <laughs> <laughs> He's the vindictive one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking... But I like this part, though. This is like what he does when he goes, you're ugly and fat and I hate you, but don't take it personally. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> I mean that with respect. I don't I don't mean any disrespect. Yeah. Oh, God beat fuck. you with a genetic stick. But but I I, <laughs> I agree. That's 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 fair. And I'm a nice guy. I'm not you make, racist. You make but... me want to you make me want to puke. You're a cockroach, and I hope you die. But don't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> he agrees. That's not a problem, though. His position was fair. His position. Hmm. <laughs> he talks about Clayton's position like way yeah. too much for my taste. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> He's like, you know, speaking of positions, side saddle. <laughs> You're like, well, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> side saddle. <laughs> <laughs> That's one I haven't heard of before. Uh, Although that would go with Laura, with uh, Laura and her horse, her horse. Yeah. <laughs> Re reverse cowgirl. Uh, <laughs> Lord. Those, by the way, Jeff, those AI images were nightmare fuel, just to say. <laughs> just to say, man. I may have, I, you know, I don't know if it's like, I, I'm like, curse your brain, because I overthink anything I see. And I'm like, hey, it, it pushed the front teeth out, so it made a birth canal. Awesome. Oh. And I'm like, that's not awesome. <laughs> that's not awesome, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing what happens when you just type in tonsil twins. Uh, well, what's amazing? It really did look like HR Giger, you know. It did. It, did. <laughs> it does. It looks like uh, you've taught AI HR Giger, man. <laughs> Good job. Who had his own problems? <laughs> okay, so here's here is where the problem happened. After lawyer, after Laura's lawyer, that's a tongue twister in this voice, by the way, <laughs> moved to dismiss on December 28th, 2023. On January 3rd, 2024, Clayton's lawyers, Woodnick, filed a very specific type of motion for sanctions. This motion used something called Rule 26. Yeah. <laughs> Rule 20. I'm, I'm going to say it slow for you. <laughs> <laughs> rule 20. Which <laughs> is basically a rule that says you can't file bullshit cases which have no basis. Hmm. Is that how it's is, it, is that how it's described yeah. in the law books? And no, probably, fine. yeah, just yeah. like that. <laughs> Thou I like that kind of filed bullshit. Well, who filed the bullshit cases? Anyway, just wondering. Clayton said it was a <laughs> bullshit case, and therefore he's entitled to Rule 26 sanctions. But Clayton's lawyer made a mistake, a big, heaping, veiny mistake. <laughs> Man, if my camera was on, I'd turn it off now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i'm like man i'm thinking about turning mine on <laughs> and the lawyer's like man something's turned on he's like no allegedly. Okay, well, i just say allegedly with everything nowadays it's all covered it's all covered it's a it's a blanket allegedly, yes, a blanket allegedly. coming coming soon the next blog oh. post is going to be out allegedly doesn't cover anything yeah that's what I'm, i need to post that on twitter right now i'm just gonna post allegedly i'm gonna do it right now just to so say I. i'm gonna do it too i'm gonna be in a race with you <laughs> oh my god you're in a race with me gonna he's gonna be like you. she admitted that she's a racist <laughs> no it's a race oh no, no, All I, right. I posted it. With, Go like with, my allegedly. That's nice. <laughs> Love it. You have I to make like a manga with too. Woodnick as the character now called Big Wood in the Tentacle in the, in the tentacle <laughs> Big, <cave. laughs> Big Wood in the Tentacle Cave. Oh God. Big Wood. <laughs> He's like they call me Daddy Wood. <laughs> 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 right there. 
<clears throat> okay, I'm a professional. Let me get this back here. <laughs> I gotta reel this Perf stuff in. Tug. I'm saying that in this professional, voice. professional voice. Professional. <laughs> I'm, I'm a professional. Okay. <clears throat> Rule 26. Let's see where it was. Okay. Yeah. Big mistake. Rule 26 has something called a safe harbor. <laughs> that's I legal for that's safe right. word. <laughs> That's kind sure of I like it the first time around. Yeah, it's kind of like when I put you in the puppy kennel and you know, I give you the word, like you call me Mr. Bow Wow. Wait, no. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I won't bore you with the details after the kennel, but it works like this. I won't bore you with the details, but it works like this. What the Here are all the details I'm about to bore you with. <laughs> Courts, Courts are, are busy. Courts no are shit, Sherlock. I love this guy so much. <sighs> they aren't busy. Oh. They're totally busy. Like, like totally, totally busy. For sure. <laughs> For sure, y'all. And they uh, are used to seeing You know why everyone. they're busy? You know why they're busy? Because they're full of people like this. My child just fell down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Megan. Save that child. <laughs> <laughs> they're used to seeing everyone say the other party is lying etc that happens in most case most sorry if not all cases yawn yawn <laughs> yikes. yikes hashtag hashtag me too <laughs> again i just looked up to see if he actually typed yawn this is so weird. <laughs> I, when we read, I, again, the, the biggest one that still sticks with me is him typing the word hashtag and then hashtag. typing hashtag me too. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag me too. Double hashtags. <laughs> Yikes. Those were good. Double hashtag. What does it mean? Sure, Jeff, you're a lawyer, but did you ever work at Taco Bell? <laughs> Albertson's grocery store is close enough, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, but you never said, yes, I'll get that and I'll slather a little extra meat on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I I did in my very I early days have someone ask me where the where the condiments were and I sent them down the hygiene aisle. <laughs> That's the day that I learned the word condiment. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day you send somebody home with mustard <laughs> instead of something else they were looking for. Yeah, she she came back like the like like uh, Inigo Montoya from the from the Princess Bride. Like, I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> I got my <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I'm not saying. That. Yeah, I'm going to say that anyway. Mm. <laughs> my husband says, "Well, I'm pregnant," but he says that now. I remind him of a hot dog. <laughs> You're like, wow, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> he always sings the national anthem and talks about baseball. <laughs> oh, stay, can you see? <laughs> I'd like that with relish, please. With the tonsils last <laughs> gleaming. Uh, yeah, with the tonsils, red glare. <laughs> Two babies are stuck in there. With Clayton Eckerd bursting in air. <laughs> but Clayton wouldn't put it down there. But still, I got pregnant. <laughs> oh, God. Oh God, I'm just gonna say it now. If there's if I get sued, I think this was worth it. <laughs> oh my god, that umbrella guy is such a fucking clown. I'm doing him. He's a clown. I'm like, that's not me. No, obviously, that's not me. That's not my voice. I don't know who the fuck that was. Jeff, quick playing. That's Jeff. <laughs> 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 no I'm playing glass <laughs> yeah, like, I already heard you you're like what's up gringo <laughs> oh god I can't breathe my jaw hurts and I, which is also a problem Laura probably has quite often oh no uh, could, could we call this a a, a, a gringa essay here <laughs> <laughs> you've written a little essay <laughs> He's like, my oh, essays are more than a mouthful. Oh, God. That one <laughs> like Laura, me. it's more than a mouthful. I like that. It's very good. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see. Where was I? I lost my voice. Professional. Professional. I'm totally a professional today. Okay. You have to. Oh, yeah, lying. That's where we were. They are used to seeing everyone say the other party is lying, etc. That happens in most, if not all cases, yawn. <laughs> you have to feel bad for the court staff. How do they know who to believe? I, can't I mean, evidently. Well, yawn. here's a good. Here's a I'm good, still stuck on the fact he typed yawn. Oh my lord. Here's a good way to know who not to believe. I have anxiety over the roof. <laughs> don't believe that one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's the one you don't believe. And also, and she lied. <clears throat> all right. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, but of course we know it's the top of the hour, and it's time for me to actually go do my real job. Uh, oh I, I no! Apologize. I should. We did, got. Do you have anything you would like to add legally before I just, clown this just, up? I'm again? sorry <laughs> that we got through three paragraphs in an hour because I was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Lord. I, 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 I don't, I, I, have you been on my channel? Before? You've been on here once, right? Once, I think. Once, yeah. yeah. See, you're going to have to come on and like, give us some real opinions. <laughs> Alleged opinions. <laughs> I know we didn't even get to the second part of the motion we're supposed to be reading. And that, that one is so <laughs> funny. And we're probably not going to either because we're going to be doing this for the next five hours. <clears throat> Except I have a two hour hard out today. But that didn't well, work. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give Jeff one thing. He um, he he reckon he recommended the wager. That was pretty good. Oh yeah, good book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I was like, all right, I'll check that out. Hey, <laughs> this is actually pretty damn good. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I didn't think when I read it, I would have skipped it otherwise. So there. Uh, all right, Jeff, anyway. Are you grifting? Thanks for the. What, are you grifting anything? What's coming yes, up you for wanna, you? You want to plug anything? Uh, well, I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the the motion uh, on friday evening okay oh the oh the one that we're supposed yeah. to finish tonight that we probably yeah. won't finish oh, no yeah way. yeah that one I'll, i'm gonna review that on friday evening i can't wait to hear your alleged legal so it's opinions. like friday evening your time so it's your like time eight o'clock in the morning okay yeah it's like yeah, it'll, it'll be your friday evening 7 p.m 7 p.m 8 p.m eastern so. oh wait so our friday evening yeah so you're gonna be oh got it okay. you confuse me you, you give you give wiggly super monies and <laughs> <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> but it's 10 oh wiggly money so enjoy it yeah i i apparently i'm like i actually i learned i was like that's oh no that's korean one right oh, yeah. i don't well, know how that's true called, it's called one yes Oh, I didn't know that. So, okay. So, Tug and I were trying to figure that out last night, and he's like, I don't know. I just call it Wiggly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, thanks, thanks for the Wiggly money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, M4AS, where in Utah? I'm from Logan, Utah. That's where I was. Well, from the town of Nibley outside. It, it's like makes Nibley. Lynette's town look big. Nibley. That's an awesome Nibley. name, actually. <laughs> I think he said Wibbly. Nibbly with an N. No, oh, I said you nibbly. You did say nibbly. Yeah, oh, like my yes. God. Like what rats do? Oh, by the <laughs> way, the, the, <laughs> the rat baby from yesterday, the AI rat baby, people are on my YouTube comments, the replay watchers, dying over rat baby. That I they, that was so bizarre. That I, freaking, I was like, what? <laughs> Stick legs. The, <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Sorry, All right. Jeff. Jeff. Get oh, out of here, Jeff. man. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Be here brother. Love Thanks you. for the invite. We'll yeah, see you again, guys. Later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I totally I invited you. him on and wasted his time. Ha, ha, ha. We didn't even use him as our legal expert at all. We're no, like... no. He, he, he totally explained <laughs> that some of these words have legal merit. That's what I was saying as a big-time lawyer. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, safe harbor. <laughs> That's a legal term. All right, we need to get to where they may, you know, if let's see, we got? we got an hour to get through there. this. So we're good. We're, we're going to get through this. We're, we'll get through this part at least. Man, I had all kinds of stuff like Mark to talk about. I'm like, well, I guess I have topics for the next time too. Oh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> we're going to get serious now. It's now that bad. Jeff's gone, you know, it's really because he was here that we couldn't yes. get serious. <laughs> Four score in seven years ago. I began. <laughs> <happy. laughs> and it's all because of Jeff. 
It's Jeff's fault. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Rather than uh, rather than hearing every petty dispute over he said, she said, the courts have created this funky system. Funky. Yeah. <laughs> Where a party can ask for sanctions, meaning monetary penalties if you don't get that because you're totally a cockroach and not a lawyer. <laughs> Because we don't know what sanctions mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah. really. We if someone know. files a bullshit case. But here's the catch. You can't file the motions for sanctions unless you give a clear written warning first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the warning must be very specific. And it must follow the letter of the law. And once you give that warning, the party who allegedly filed the bullshit case has a safe way out. They have an absolute right to drop the case within a fixed time period, currently 10 working days after the notice is given. If the bad guy takes this safe harbor, they get to drop the case and they get immunity from sanctions for doing the right thing. This saves the court staff from having to deal with all these nasty disputes. It's a good thing. You are not a nice person. <laughs> I'm a good guy. <sighs> That's what it, the, if the bad guy. I mean, wow, well, is that legal talk too? Curious. Is that what we <laughs> call them now? It's a good thing, even if it means someone who filed bullshit cases gets to walk away. This is where Clayton screws up. He filed a motion for sanctions, but he forgot to give the 10-day written warning. Oops, you still think your <laughs> team is rock solid? Mm, yeah, Dave knew. <laughs> Dave, you gonna tell me about that rock Wait, solid team? This guy is really trying to like get under Dave's skin and he's targeting him like by name he, he keeps saying i'm not going to name these people and then he names dave neal over and over again and just like on kind of a serious note keep dave's ne ne dave neal's name out of your motherfucking mouth <laughs> understand you're going to keep his name out your motherfucking mouth like i love dave neal and he's been through so much he has been through so much his wife is pregnant and laura came after him for harassment for 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 what for reporting this story i i mean i do get mad about this i really do i get mad because it's like dave neal is the only guy who stood up in all of well besides him and reality steve those two guys stood up to actually to the whole mainstream media and these yep. are guys who are like on the left right they're kind of left leaning progressive dudes they're in entertainment news yeah, and, there's a lot they, to lose in that. that. That you know, when we say that too, there's so much to lose. Like, like for a person like myself, or say, man, who gives a fuck? You can't take anything. They won't give me anything either. You know, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I'm not going to get to be invited to their parties or their conventions or whatever. You know, but you don't have anything to take away, Dave. Yeah, it's a very real threat of taking everything, targeting his life, targeting his career, and he still stood up. Props to him. Yeah. And like he, and he even like, we were talking the other day, I was on his podcast yesterday or whatever. And we were talking about how people even came after him for talking to us, talking to me, talking to you. So he's getting it not only from her side, but from his own side saying, you can't talk to them. We're going to cancel our memberships. We're going to cancel you if you talk to them. And he stood against that too. And you know, they've, I, of out of all the people involved in this story, I actually feel for Dave Neal the most. I know Clayton got, you know, his life ruined and whatever, but he also, he also partied with crazy. Okay. Dave did not do that. Dave just stood up for somebody that he saw getting, you know, railroaded. He covered a story and said, what the fuck does this mean? You know, I mean, really? And, and he's so positive. Like, he's not like, he's not like us, Tug. Like, he's not like, not that we're not positive, but I mean, he's got this like glasses is, is half full mentality all the time. And he doesn't think that everything is fucked. He, he's not black pilled like me and you, you know, <laughs> it's like he's, glass half empty, glass half full. I'm like, fuck it. I'm kicking that glass over. <laughs> well, I'm breaking I that drink glass. your water. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Dave's like, I believe in a friendly universe. And I'm like, oh God, Dave, that friendly universe is going to fuck you in places you don't want to be fucked. 
poor Dave. I mean, and I hope that's not the case, but like, look, this horrible man is coming after Dave and he is, he is coming after him by name. And I just feel, I just, I'm sorry. I get angry every time he says his name because he's spreading all these lies about who Dave is. And I'm sorry, you can say all the shit you want to about me. Most of it's probably true, but don't say it about Dave Neal. I will not allow it. I will not allow it. Not allowed. I'm overruled. <laughs> overruled. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> I swear, overruled. I like that. Overruled. <laughs> overruled. I'm overruling you. Deny. Sit down. <laughs> Do not want anyone saying anything bad about Dave Neal. I am I I'm serious about that. I feel like Dave could be the little brother I always wanted that I never had. And just come at me, bro. Don't go, don't come at him. Dave, I'll carry you around in a backpack and pet you. I'll feed you, I'll feed you bread and you know, and whatever, man. I'll comb your hair. And if you'd like a tramp stamp, I'll actually pay for it. <laughs> We will take you out, Dave, and buy you new short shorts and skinny jeans. <laughs> They'll be as short as you want. That's right. <laughs> if when you're walking, we hear clank, clank because of those steel balls you took on the media with. I'm, I'm good with that. He totally clanks when he walks. He <laughs> you does. clank those babies. He clank does. Them. That's he why does. he's naming you. He's like, mm, clank, clank. <laughs> <laughs> but look, it pisses me off. You know why it pisses me off? Because Dave is like so like sunshine and daisies all the time. He's trying to make people laugh, trying to make the world a better place. His wife is due to give birth any day. He's having his baby shower this week. And every time that he has had a major event in his life, this this bitch and her minions have done everything they can to ruin it for him. He, when he was on his baby moon is when he got served with this ridiculous harassment order that she did against him for telling the truth for for telling his opinion on a news story and now his baby shower is happening and what's happening she sent her rabid dog of a lawyer this a douche canoe after him by name i mean this makes me angry but i'm trying not to be angry i'm trying to laugh tonight because that's that's what we're here to do but i still think that this is shitty and I just want to say justice for Dave Neal. Let's, hey, since we have two hours, let's skip to the where he calls it cockroaches and then we can come back. All right. Yeah. Let's, because look at all this. Blah, blah. I know. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. blah, blah. blah, blah. It really, look, at, look at how much of that. Blah. Look at how... Oh, it's a PS. Don't, don't, don't oh, wait. skip. That's the PS. Here we go. Yeah. This is it. This is the PS. <sighs> PS. <clears throat> I want you to register this too, you disgusting cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> As I get more up to speed with this case, I'm really starting to lose patience with this small but vocal handful of people out there who are milking this case for financial gain. I am not one of them since I make zero dollars for writing this stuff. You get paid to be on the case, mofo. Yeah, you asshole. You probably got a thirty to fifty thousand dollar retainer. Like, oh, I'm not. I'm not one of them since I make zero from writing this. Well, no one would pay you to write this shit. First of all, no one would pay you for this. I'm you a writer. Much, I would yeah. know. Tell us how much you made, and then I'll I'll do a GoFundMe and see if I can make that much, and then I'll be a professional law splainer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously it's like i make zero dollars see they all they all all of them it doesn't matter if you're talking about the joke list or you're talking about this guy whomever they have wallet envy they do so super yeah. chat my friends super chat me. so super chat away because it pisses off it pisses off the douche canoe the tramp stamp lawyer will have another heart attack meltdown uh as he sees the super chats flow in let it flow, folks. Let it flow because it pisses them off more than anything. You. The one that just came in says Megan's new band, this bitch and her minions. <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? That was funny. I did that. You totally did. You monster. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Tram Stamp and the Tonsil Crew. There's your. That's a good one. <laughs> Tram Stamp and the Tonsil Crew. Yeah, I like it. You 
the guilty and the dirty know who you are. <laughs> the guilty and the dirty. The dirty? That's a weird way to say Dude, it. Dude, I bathe a lot. I like it. I like <laughs> living the bathtub. I do. So I'm not dirty. I'm many things, but I'm not dirty. These people, not naming names, except for you, Dave Neal, you absolute <laughs> monster. Not yeah. name. I mean. Not naming like a, names. He just named uh, Dave Neal. Are generally blogging. I don't blog, by the way. I that's don't like, blog either. That's so millennia. That's so the odds. I don't do that. Or hosting YouTube videos every day. I'll do it five times a day now. If you want to go with that <laughs> to talk about the case. But they are not really talking about the case. We're not, not even close. I'm not. I'm talking about a dumbass here. Is what I'm <laughs> And then has some dumbass apparently wants to dance on my grave, you know. Steve called me a dumbass. Mm. Sorry. That was my they don't impression. explain all the facts. You know, he's been on this what a, a week and how long have people been covering this? So yeah, we don't we don't have to review every item every time we talk about something you know <laughs> that's that's not how that works oh. well we have reviewed every item we could get our hands on though as far as like yeah. in, that we've seen in this case so far as it, as it comes up we talk about it and we and we we've reviewed back. we've mm -hmm. reviewed every filing in this case that i that was on the docket that we could get it's all on reddit it's not like Reddit is not posting filings made by the plaintiff. And in fact, the plaintiff's filings have been the most fun to read because they're batshit insane, um, which he even admitted. He's like, my client, you know, like put in some <laughs> motions that were dumb and she shouldn't have. Like, yeah, we've read them all. We know. So please don't don't insult our intelligence. It's like, don't hold this. it against my client that she writes stuff while sniffing glue, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> sniffing glue and making horse uh, mon montages on her on her uh, board that she sticks behind her desk. She's like cutting out little horse heads and making yeah, fake a collage. one sonogram, just one <laughs> sonogram. I mean, my God, she's got her little like board for cutting and pasting, old school with the exacto knife, just <laughs> working on it. You talk about having two mouth babies and suddenly the world, they turn on you. <laughs> you just, you don't know how it is, Megan. You don't know how it is. <laughs> Did you not take health class? I mean, they tell you about all the ways you can have babies. You could have, you can have them naturally C-section, you know, tonsillitis. That's what it actually is. Tonsillitis look, is pregnancy. Look, I put. <laughs> One, I changed one thing at the top of my sonogram. One thing with just the, the name of the place because I didn't want Clayton to know that I went to Planned Parenthood because it's, you know, it's embarrassing or something. And then, well, my name, I must have put my name there because I was anonymous. Your Honor, I'd like to strike my client's statement from the record. <laughs> She's on glue again, allegedly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> These people, not naming names, are generally blogging, blah, 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 but they're not talking the case. Not even close. They don't explain all the facts. They don't give both sides of the story like any real journalist would only one of us here is a journalist by the way <laughs> <laughs> i and i am an award-winning journalist i would just like to point out and top shelf by the way i am a top shelf award-winning authentic journalist according to all my haters that's right <laughs> don't get it twisted lord i'm trying to speak it in his language maybe you'll get it you don't get it twisted <sighs> at the end of the day megan they don't give a shit about this case. They don't give a shit about the people involved or the truth. They're nothing but mosquitoes sucking, sucking <laughs> their meager living out of the First Amendment. I fought so hard to protect since I signed it into being. Yeah. <laughs>
When the Declaration of Independence was being written, I was there. I was there. I signed it in blood. In fact, I fought in the front lines. I reached down into the puddle of one of my best friends to continue to fight the good fight. I took the pen right from him, right out of his pocket. He had been stricken down either by a cannonball or by scurvy or malaria or an STD. Not, not really essential there. But I took that pen, I signed my name, and you can totally see it. So I fought for your rights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wiping away the tears because I'm so moved. Mm, I, did. I have the yep. best lawyer in the whole damn world. The best lawyer. I don't know how I got so lucky to find this lawyer, but he is the best lawyer in the whole damn world. He loves the First Amendment so much. 69 plus 10 cases <laughs> fighting for your right to say dumb shit like that umbrella guy says all the time allegedly <laughs> mosquito you suck your living out of the first amendment like so many pricks in a homosexual gangbang i'll tear you <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. All right, roll up a little bit. Let's see. I gotta, you said uh, I reached into the pool that you I reached into the puddle, into that of, puddle that was my best friend <laughs> to continue like to never, fight the good fight. I'm never going to recover from that monologue. Uh, uh, it was like taken <laughs> out by a, there was scurvy in there. I yeah, mean, it was taken out by a cannonball or a musket <laughs> or scurvy or an STD. I, I'm not sure. They didn't have good medical Stiflis. coverage. I, <laughs> I was there when we dumped the tea into the harbor. <laughs> I take my tea by the bags, wink, wink. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? I don't know why I'm here. I'm just the audience to sit here and listen and laugh at Tug. Oh, God. Ugh. I've laughed so hard, my throat hurts. Mm. You might be <laughs> pregnant, you know, that's how it starts. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to sue the father. <laughs> Visitation, you know. Quick, who's the richest man right now? He's the father. <laughs> uh, you didn't even have to really do anything. You just walk in the room. You were breathing really deeply. Did you know that when people sneeze, they can get you pregnant? That's right. That's why you wear a mask. That's why you've been wearing masks all this time. Yep, in '95, oh. baby. That's why you got to get it. Airborne, airborne pregnancy. Mm. That's why you don't breathe deeply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Those horrible men. All right. Hey, scroll, scroll up a little bit. Let me, I, no, I'm losing a little okay. bit behind our icons. All right. All right. Wait, okay. how far? There. there that's, oh, no here. way. It's human too far. Leeches. There we are. <laughs> These human leeches are selling half truths. Hmm. You want to buy some truths? You, you want to buy the other half? No, I give away the half truth and I sell the other part for $9.95 plus tax per truth. <sighs> and twisting shit way out of perspective in order to increase the drama. So much drama. God. And thereby get a few more pennies of Google AdSense revenue and a few quote unquote super chat bucks <laughs> to pay for bread sticks. <laughs> so bread sticks. Okay. So if you don't know, he's, this is another dig straight at Dave Neal. Cause Dave was making jokes the other day that people were sending super chats and he was screaming at his wife, honey, we're going to Olive Garden. We're getting the bread sticks tonight. We got bread stick money. Oh my God. And, and there was this whole, and this was like two days ago, and it was such a funny stream, too. I was dying laughing. And Dave always makes me laugh. And th th so this is so clearly he's, 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 I don't know how he has time to write the shit that he writes because he's literally listening to us online all day long. He's listening to Dave Neal. He's listening to us. He's listening to God knows what. I don't know, but I don't know where he fits in all this time to work on his, his big cases he says he's working on. <laughs> Super chat and the super chats for breadsticks come flooding in. Give Good me some breadsticks, chat. chats. Give me that <laughs> breadstick money. <laughs> I swear. I know I'm I'm so jelly of Dave Neal. Jelly. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> 
my kid, my kid, my my daughter was telling me some uh, slang. That's how. Uh, that's how in my intro song it, it uses the word drip, and I I, would, I was like, what? <laughs> I got my drip on. I got my my flick or flake or whatever the fuck. I was like, what does that even mean? I haven't gotten past like like cool man or <laughs> I don't speak your language. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, hey, Jeremy and George, what the hails is in the chat saying mm, Olive Garden, <laughs> mm, the Olive Garden, by the way, Jeremy and George, let me let me change my voice there. Sorry. Appreciate oh you my guys. Gosh, there's breadsticks in the chat now. Breadstick icons. I love it. Emoji breadsticks. Perfect. <laughs> I, had, I had to take a hot minute and actually like after Ohio and listen to that. I was like, I got to Like, I can't stop. Like, I almost died in that first Ohio. I'm a, I mean, I almost you can go back. and I almost died in that thing. I was like, it can't be any funnier. <sighs> Megan's like. Here's a funny one to go along with it. <laughs> oh, check this out. Here we go. It's really going to get good now. Okay, and wait. Honestly, I, can't, I have to wait. You have to wait for a second because okay. there's a new meme. There's a there's a new meme. <laughs> it's the douche canoe meme. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, I like that the uh, the picture is like on the moon bump too. I know <laughs> she's got it taped on. <laughs> she's. <laughs> That's not like, tape. That's a window right in there. You can see it real time. <laughs> I like I like how the empty cans of monster are littering the bottom of the of the canoe. That's the not canoe a moon bump. Like... That's armor for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh. funny. It honestly makes me want to puke breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck these sick, selfish, lying assholes. <laughs> Should I clarify how I feel? <laughs> oh, yeah, you tell us. You tell us how you feel. If you need a couch to lay down on. You know, <laughs> Welcome to my office. <laughs> now tell me, are these lying, sick, selfish assholes, are they in the room with us right now? <laughs> It's like the last time I laid on a couch, I found out it was a casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I complain about pricks so much. <laughs> oh these God, maybe he vile, got Weinstein. These vile scum. I mean, people <laughs> are not helping anything. They are human cockroaches <laughs> spreading feces all over the floor. <laughs> I saw somebody, there was a dude who didn't know how to pronounce this. This is, he used to pronounce it fishies. I heard this. So it'd be like, oh, these are Lord. human cockroaches spreading fishies. <laughs> 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 you look, he got so mad. He did like, look at that sentence too. Look how, look at that. They are human cockroaches spreading feces on the floor and then spinning the facts to make them more dramatic than they really are in hopes this will drive traffic and increase revenue for their sad pathetic lives good god i anger type that out by the way <laughs> smash that keyboard man. <laughs> smash it like it I started to go back to the casting couch, but I'm going to not do that. I'm a professional. Okay, we can do <laughs> one day these trash humans will wake up and realize that lying for money is not a good way to live. Or maybe they'll never see their sins. Either way, I look forward to reading their obituaries briefly before throwing them in the trash where they belong. What? Holy butt hurt, Batman. I, mean, I don't think I've ever said I hope someone dies. I, I may have, but I'm, I'm just like in this kind of vile way like to be like i can't wait till the day these days. you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of when rush limbaugh died or when anybody who's big on the on the right dies there will be like uh, an entire like week of people on twitter who disliked him or whoever it is that died and they will be saying the most vile hateful things about the person who died without any concern of, for their their family or whatever. Like I didn't particularly love Ruth Bader Ginsburg or her, you know, decisions. Like, on the Supreme yeah. Court. She what? died. And I was like, well, that's too bad. She was a living legend. And you know, that's, I'm sorry for her family. The people like this guy, like they, they freak me out because I have never 
felt this way about someone. Like even someone, like mostly I laugh about it when I encounter people I think are kind of evil and do evil crap. I mean, occasionally I'll pull out the Nick Ricada a sound button here. Get the fucking chainsaws ready! But that's like, that's about it. That's about as far as it goes. Like, I can't imagine being like, I'm going to dance on your grave. Oh, it's terrible. I was, uh, so one of the Amazon show that here, I'll show you the guy. You may not know his name. I didn't, I didn't know him by name, you know, but, um, this guy, he actually, give me one minute. And I started to pull up, a, uh, I'm just going to pull up the montage of pictures on Google. You know, the, every time somebody passes, you know, every time within minutes. So this guy, he ends up, Dying 27 in a motorcycle accident. He was um, on the show Gen V, which is a big Amazon one right now. You know, his career mm -hmm. was, it was going right up there. Because the man, though, he liked some posts in support of Johnny Depp. Within 15 minutes, people were saying the worst stuff ever. And I was like, man, you know, every time. It doesn't matter. If, if it's a man, especially... Uh, but even, you know, if it's not, then they they go to, you know, if they can't use certain buzzwords, then they get into political ones. It's just crazy, you know. I, crazy. I just keep thinking when I look at his, uh, let me pull this back up. When I look at this scree here, I'm like, you don't even know me yet. Wait till you get to know me. Then you can really type out the paragraphs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, for real, like. God, I wonder how many letters, how, how many words is this? I wonder. Oh, well, in order to find that out, you can, let's see, we can copy and paste copy it and into paste a it, Google yeah. Doc, and then I can count them. Let's do it, because it's, no, it's a lot out. of words. It's a it's... lot of words. It's a lot. It's a lot of words. All right, let's put it in a Google document. Scroll down a little. Scroll. Wait, you want me to scroll down yeah, more? Yeah, scroll a little. There, perfect. <laughs> I wanted to see something. This came from the third. So he spent all this time right after the live stream. This was like right after the stream. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. He, was, he was pissed. Okay, so I was right. It, it's tw I said 2,000 words. It's 2230. 2230 my god so he taught i typed a short story my short story is entitled cockroaches and scumbags and dance on your grave you little man <laughs> dave neal you and your short shorts <laughs> <laughs> he's like i hate you so much dave neal i'm gonna go I'm going to go burn down a JC Penny because I know you shop there allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't understand this. I really don't. Like, I, we tell a lot of jokes around here, but you know, if, as far as everybody, oh, that's weird. I was trying to make a, an AI image out of the, um, out of the cockroaches. Uh -huh. uh, but we had a, there was a problem creating the image. I wonder if it didn't like my description. I love it when AI tells me Ooh, that I'm dangerous. I wonder, I wonder if it'll, I wonder if you could do one, uh, let's see, Bing. Oh, let me, I'm going to see if Bing can do a cockroach with an umbrella mask. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do that. I was trying. Oh, let's see, that would be, that'd be <laughs> awesome. You know, a cockroach that is a lawyer that wears an umbrella mask. I'm going to ask it. <laughs> Cockroach. Let's have fun with AI for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Cockroach that works as a lawyer with a mask on that looks like an umbrella. Hmm. Let's see. Let me see if it'll. Come on, Bing. Be nice. Come to on, me. Bing. I love Bing AI. Bing AI is the best. Hmm. I forgot my password. So oh, I no, to... no, uh -huh. no, no. A lawyer wearing a cockroach umbrella? Oh, no, that I, would be funny. You got to put a cockroach umbrella mask on. The other has a head with, uh, made out of an open red and white <laughs> umbrella. 
There we go. Thank you, Microsoft, for making this the most fucking complicated <laughs> everything. I just want to use a fucking AI generator. Oh, why does Microsoft have to do that? Why, why, why? But they do it's they just, make everything difficult. Everything. Uh, it's just no, crazy. It, it did not understand what I was trying to tell it to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a fail. I get I get some funny ones. You know, here's here's a little uh workaround too. You know, you can't actually use people's names, but you can use movie roles. So if it's a big enough movie role, that's how I got all those cool Johnny Depp ones. You know, when I was yeah. like, show me Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean, like totally dancing on the red carpet with a sign that said I won. And it's like, <laughs> hmm, we can do that. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. I love AI so much. I'm still in the past. It's like, show us right, one more I got time. It. I got we'll it. Have a blood I got it. Okay. I got it. Oh. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Megan, because I haven't even gotten past the damn AI. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. We are heroes. Oh, send cash. me that magic right Look there. Look the cash. <laughs> oh. Hook me up with that. Look what I found under the fridge, Megan. <laughs> oh my God. Totally. God, I knew, I knew streaming with you would be worth it. Oh, so good. We've reached our final destination. Uh, this is it. This is it. This uh, is I've, going on the cover of our album that we're making together. Uh, <laughs> It's the groupie cockroach cash. Look at are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is what I don't. And I just want to say that I'm truly laughing from the bottom of my soul about this. This is very funny. And if if Laura Owens was a normal person, she could like, and, and this lawyer too, they could take the criticism and turn it into something funny like tramp stamp lawyer. Hilarious. He should have made a t-shirt already. He should be monetizing it. Up. My God, what's wrong with them? And why can't they laugh at themselves? It's funny. You call me a cockroach. Okay, I'll turn myself into Dude, a money People call me Tug. Come on. I mean, he should have been like, I, I'm not listening to prig jokes from a guy named Tug. <laughs> uh, see. All right, I'm downloading this image and I'm sending it to yes, you. Be careful. Don't don't dox your 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 amazingness. No, 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 I won't. Oh, my Damn God. you, Microsoft. I still haven't gotten in yet. What the fuck, man? It's like it wants it, it wants three different ways of verification. So I can use a, I, I can make more AI images. I feel like, geez, man. Oh, my God. Why would I could have, I, I, Super Chats, I could have made the breadsticks by hand by now. <laughs> I mean, my God, Dave, you don't know my struggle. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't take it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have like, I think I have high blood pressure and also maybe I'm having an aneurysm at the same time. Ooh, <laughs> I think it's a good thing that I went to the bathroom before this stream or like the chat, I would be having tinkle problems. The chat's yes. like, I'm peeing my pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, according, you know. I, I've I've heard from reliable sources that if uh, <laughs> if you do it near a camera, it, it will tell you if you're pregnant or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is, I mean, this shit is a clown show. Like this oh. is a clown show. What the hell is that? I, it made me a little lawyer with a cockroach head holding an umbrella. Oh my God! There's some amazing That's funny. Women here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy a few of these. I'm gonna send them. In I'm putting myself. this out on Twitter for any of you. Need to um, we're gonna hashtag it. What should we put the hash? What should the hashtag be? Uh, uh, I don't know. Come up with a good one, people. Cockroach ha hashtag cockroach cash. <laughs> cockroach cash. <laughs> All right. I'm, Hurry up! Come up with something, and then you guys can retweet it. We need something good, and it can't just say <laughs> "cock" in it. Otherwise, you know, he'll sue us because uh, he owns cockroach the copyright. Cockroach cash train. Cockroach cash train. The streams are crossing again. Oh no! 
<laughs> All right, I got my pictures. Let me see. I've mailed them to myself. This is like, this is complicated here, man. I just want to tell a joke. Damn you, <laughs> damn you, Microsoft. What have you done to my life? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You, uh, Megan, are a professional. <laughs> professional. I almost, I was clicking buttons and I almost signed myself out. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, that was okay. Oh, I should Fine. have had the cockroaches dressed as thugs. Oh, I, that I, oh, I missed out on it. Okay, oh, wait, no. let's see if I can, if I can make let's it. Let's right. look at these, Matt. Here's a wonderful cockroach lawyer. <laughs> Look at that in. He's got a mask on. I love that. You know, so he can't get pregnant. He's safe. Thank God. He is safe. Look, he's got a, he's got a, his little work. nose looks like a scowl. Look, he's like. Rrr. Hey, okay. he's not wearing his mask properly. Uh, legal Vices has, way. Legal Vices has submitted hashtag cash roach. <laughs> cash roach. I like that one too, actually. I pulled up the wrong uh, thing there. Let's keep going. Let me see. Oh, there we go, Bing. Thank you. I got four of them. I went the wrong way in my search file. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Where is I liked this one. <laughs> He's very sexy. I too am a lawyer. Look deep in my eyes. <laughs> uh, let's see what Oh look. He's Look at his little legs. Look at <laughs> He's like, I'm pretty sexy, but damn, I keep peeing on the floor. Uh, I like how like he's really short. All the books are behind him. <laughs> it's cockroach size. <laughs> oh, one more. They make them in fours, so let's see. Here was the other. Oh, look. Look, he's got a little roach pin. That's cute. <laughs> He's got, he's got a scale of justice. This is what I was talking about. Tramp stamping on my back. Oh, I'm going to see if it'll do a cockroach with a scale of justice tramp stamp. How do you call it? Back tattoo, I'll call a it. A back tattoo? Because oh, it won't yeah. let me use tramp stamp. I know stamp. what a tramp, tramp no, stamp No, it won't. It, it won't Say tramp. lower back tattoo. Lower back tattoo. Cockroach with a lower. <laughs> Let's just play with AI, shall we? Lower back <laughs> tattoo. Uh, yeah looks like a man with a face like an umbrella <laughs> that's as close as i can get god knows what that'll you never know what will translate it out to be you know it, it really does a poor job making you with the umbrella mask you yeah, can't yeah figure I, out that i want the the stripey mask and so it just puts it puts these weird at, at least you got a mask on there like half the time it's like, <laughs> oh, uh, it's like what the hell are you talking about Oh my God. AI is racist. I just want to say that AI is racist. I didn't put anything in here about race. All I did was add gold chains and they ch it changed the race of the cockroaches. Oh no. <laughs> Damnable AI. And this one's my oh favorite. Oh my God. This one, this one is my favorite. It's you were sticking a breadstick up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> It's here, coming, up, it's up. coming. It's getting... <laughs> uh, I couldn't figure out how to roll the dollar bills. <laughs> Look at my gold chain. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, no, you got a, a fro. You got a fro. <laughs> this fucking thing is racist as shit. <laughs> Fucking this is a racist. <laughs> it's like it's, it's so like, damn racist. This is offensive as fuck. It's like, <laughs> look, at this one. look at fuck. this one. Look at this one. Look what God. it did. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, that reminds me of my two inch bread sticks. <laughs> oh, look at this God. one. Look at this one. Oh man, hey, I like my <laughs> smile. I like it. You look really high there. Have you been inhaling the breadsticks? I cannot believe that it changed. The <laughs> <way>. <laughs> oh God. my God. The, it's like, look at, it's, look at this. It's like, how <laughs> racist do you Yes. Oh my God. Very happy. Oh man, I've got a, 
I'll have the breadstick ones in a minute. I'm now going to have to tell it. The roaches are not African American. <laughs> oh my God. What, how can we tell that they've changed the race of a roach, by the way? <laughs> I mean, what the, of all things, you know, changing the race of a roach. It's like, <laughs> just because I said add gold chains. Dude, that's hilarious. This is so wrong, Bing. This is wrong. How of you. dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Although I have to say, I, I have to say, the one where you're sticking that where we're sticking the breadsticks up our noses is they're my all face. funny. I'm just like, what? Why did you go with what? that again? <laughs> I mean, it gave Megan a, a fro. I'm like, what? The I fuck? said curly. I didn't say. I didn't, well, you know what? I'll try Farrah Fawcett hair. Well, no, it won't know that. Let's see. Let's try. Check this out. Here we go. Check these. So this is what it did with my uh, umbrella. Tat. Look. Oh my God. It's got his like, <laughs> it's it got a it. tat on it. It's got nipple tats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. There's four oh. of them. Oh, look. He's a little more. The Umbrella Man can. Oh, my God. The Umbrella Man can. Yeah. Who can take a super chat? It's like Willy Wonka, you know? Who can take a rainbow and cover it with smiles and tattoo it on the back of a cockroach and wear a smile? <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. That's very sad. Wait, what? What? Is that a wing or what, what the fuck is that? Is, is that a three pie peewee or what, what is it? I don't know. Look, he's like got a little top hat on. He's like, ha, ha, ha. oh my God, look at this. Uh, look what it did. I All I did was wait, change wait. to look at what it did. I don't even know what the hell this is anymore. Okay, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, get my cash. Dude, I look really, I don't know if I'm mad or maybe I'm mad because they're, it's like super chat and bigger monies. Jesus, these one dollar bills, Megan. Look at this one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I like my hair there. Uh, look, I got an extra antenna, and so do you. Why do we have to create so much weirdness here? Like, I found some gold monies too. Tug roaches. <laughs> That's what Plush Kitten said. <laughs> Tug roaches. I got a new one. Look at this one. I've got now, for some reason, I have gray hair. I don't Your hair. You've <laughs> aged, Megan. <laughs> We're both old in this one. Is, Look that, a, it, is that a little bucket of cocaine over there beside me? <laughs> I think that's a Johnny Depp bot, uh, a container of cocaine. <laughs> it's a mega pint. It's a... <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm, I, you're rolling, you're rolling a breadstick. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a dealer. You're trying to buy some of that, that, that mega pint from me. You're like, is this enough of this groupy cash? I'm like, no, Megan. And you're like, oh, it's stressed me out so bad. My hair is turned gray and it's flat. <laughs> hey, wait, does the money have a mask on too? What? Does the money look at the money yes, image down it, there? It's got a no. mask on too. Oh my god, it's oh. with the money picture. <laughs> Even the money, <laughs> the money's like, I'm not getting pregnant from you touching me. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot even believe how insane this is. AI is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my whole damn life. Look at this one. <laughs> 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 oh my God, why do i look like don it's don... not a mega pint someone said it's a megan pint <laughs> well, there you go. what's that dude's name the the guy in boxing don something oh, oh god um don what's his name <laughs> like, it has yeah. hair just yeah. like that come on, tell me come on i need it from there come on the chat. chat don don do you know the what? mafia owned him don don king, king. Why do I look like Don King? Actually, I'm not sure which one of these is me or you. And where's the mask I asked for? <laughs> it's the glasses. 
<laughs> oh my god that's amazing you know what's funny is he he typed out one more than one scree but we we couldn't get past the one <laughs> <laughs> I know. i'm like dude time management is not one of my skills on streams okay i mean really you know what's more important reading about how you want to dance on my grave or making ai cockroaches <laughs> <laughs> i mean obviously <laughs> Oh, I'm so disappointed, though, in the second go round of the uh, cockroaches, because we were so close to perfect on the first one. And then I, I, all I wanted was it to add some breadsticks and it went off the rails with its racist stuff. Oh, my oh. God. People. Oh, there's a oh, somebody posted another one. I got to go over to Twitter and show this one. <laughs> this one's funny. People are posting. Put up your best. People see our, like my timeline from this stuff, and they're like, "What in the hell is going on?" You know, <laughs> look at this. This is so bizarre. One second here. Check that one out. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Pickle with a umbrella mask. Is that, is that Harry Potter? <laughs> is that it's, it's supposed to be the lawyer there. I think he's got a pinky ring on. Why does he have a tattoo on his forehead where Harry I Potter's have no star idea. is and Harry Potter glasses? She's holding up what looks more like a uh, ultrasounds of Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an ultrasound of a rat, baby. <laughs> that's a rat. I like how nobody's noticing there's a giant pickle. Like, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I keep telling people, oh, yeah, I'm a pickle because I'm the real deal. <laughs> <sighs> I noticed the cricket sound of that one. Oh, <laughs> Let's wait, see yeah, this. we need <laughs> put up your put up your best memes. You need to go like our alleged leads. I only got fifty three likes on that. I am very offended. <laughs> Those are crack it for your fifty three likes. <laughs> Those are crack it's man. They're like crickets that got under the fridge and got into Megan Pints. <laughs> Megan Pints. Yeah, I can't believe oh. you. Let's look at some super chats real quick. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's look at some cash roach chats. Mm. <laughs> Sue Sue, you are the first cash roach chats. Make sure you get in here, <laughs> by the way. Let's keep a running tab, too. I'm going to say that this one equates to $35. Just to, No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, oh my God. I'm so tempted. Again, I, I kept talking about how I was going to open up different membership. You know, I was going to do like, uh, like <laughs> the, the groupies for the Lynette case. And now I need to do one that's like, you know, roach groupie train, some cash to <laughs> roach groupie train. You got to get on that roach groupie train. Here's another oh. Sue B. Sue. Thank you also for the gifted membership. <laughs> Susan, thank you for the month there. Hashtag, hashtag, good trap step lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Fallen Hero, thank you for the gifted membership. There was, again, there, there was a, there were a couple of interesting things that went on with that, but I just, we, I'm going to have to cover some stuff outside of this, you know? I also wanted to, so that, you know, the actor on Jack Reacher, you know, it's been, yeah. They, that, you know, they, he came out guy. and he said that he had been, uh, essayed <gasps> he did yeah yeah he said in the past that uh he went on a photo shoot he quit um doing act uh, like gigs uh photo gigs like that because somebody essayed him <gasps> yeah there's uh articles on that and you know oh, as big as his name is and stuff it, it barely even got any coverage at all and he's such a huge guy too yeah like, who tried to do that like what Apparently the name? photographer is what he's saying. You know, he made allegations yeah. about it. He didn't put out a name, you know, with it. Um, I think I'm so conflicted on this stuff because, you know, when, when you noted it, if he's just looking for closure, I understand, you know, like, you're like, Hey, this stuff happened. That's what me too was supposed to be. But if he's trying to prevent that, you, when you put out a name, here's the issue that becomes the, you know, you can't well, then we that. need. Well, then you need. No, I always say it this way. <clears throat> so, if you're my friend and you come to me and you say, I was essayed and I, I'm going to totally believe you and I'm not going to mm. ask you any questions, I'm going to give you whatever support you want. But the second you say to me, and it was this guy over there and I want you to go after him, 
now I have questions. And I feel the same way about, and not, not that I mean, I don't believe you. I mean, well, now I have to find out what are the facts? When did you go? You know, where was it reported? Cause now I'm going to, you now you want, want to burn a mofo to the ground and yeah, I need you want to burn to a mofo to the ground and I'm going to need some evidence for that. Yeah. But if you, it's the same thing with telling your story to the media, like he did, if he's not naming a name and he's just saying, I need to get this off my chest, he has every right to do that. Right. And you probably for protecting yourself anyway, probably if it's been 30 years or whatever, you, you don't want to name someone because you can't, for one, there could be a statute of limitations, but for two, there's no evidence preserved after all that time. And so you're not going to be successful in any kind of litigation. Maybe you could sue civilly or whatever, but you're not going to go after I was just stunned it. to see the article. I was like, wait, what? You know, when I, I was, I was going through, I was like, is, is that, because it, it put his name, it was like, reach your star, Alan, what's his name? Richen attempted. Name? Alan Richson. Yeah. He Richen. attempted to off himself after SA. Well, that's so sad. Yeah. So that's, I thought, man, that's, that's, awful awful there and you know what's really awful is not when, when the statement he says this too and i hate like, like you almost have to put statements like in this it, and for a, you like when a man comes out and says something like this he, he says it's still unfair but if i really had to i can get myself out of whatever room i was uh, in through a physical altercation most women don't have that option imagine how terrifying it must be and I'm like, wait a minute. Well, there's a lot of guys who can't do that either. You know, for whatever reason, I get what you're trying to say there. But, you know. They also put a picture of him back then and he was much smaller. I'm just like. Much smaller dude. And like, this is terrifying. I'm, I'm looking at the Business Insider article of it. And he said, I was sent into a hotel room to do nudes with the promise that if I did the shoot, he would offer me a very lucrative campaign for a magazine and a clothing line. And then I was essayed by this guy. And then he went straight to the modeling agency and he said, F you for sending me there. You knew this was going to happen. You did it anyway. And they basically admitted it and said, it's not a big deal. Calm down. Now, why didn't he drive straight to the police? You know, I hate, to, I, I know pe people get mad at you when you say that, but it's like, but that's what you have to do. Although who knows in Hollywood or wherever he was at the time, maybe if he went to the police. Just been like, yeah, pshaw. I mean, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a real mess. That, I hope people understand when people are like, "Hey, is there proof of that?" They're, they're looking at that because I mean, really, you're going to burn someone down when you put a name to it. So again, you, I don't care about like a quote unquote proof. If somebody's talking about, they're just putting out like I've been through horrible stuff, and they talk about it. You, you don't, you don't need it. You, you deserve empathy you deserve some you deserve to be able to talk about something and have some kind of support yeah but i would like to uh when the that system hollywood period is full of monsters and the real monsters they absolutely deserve to be put out of business you know they deserve to be uh, they deserve to be put behind bars and the only way that that really will happen when people drop names they drop proof and you create a media firestorm. You know, Harvey Weinstein didn't go to jail because uh, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to put him behind bars. They protected him forever. It's because there was so much noise. They couldn't, they couldn't ignore him anymore. All right. The chat's trying to tell us that something is trending. What, what's trending? What's trending? Uh, I don't, I don't see it. Is it the, well, is, what's trending? Is tramp stamp lawyer trending? No, no, it couldn't is it be. really? <laughs> oh my God! Somebody, no. somebody, take a screenshot if that's it's trending it, and it, send it. I don't see to... it, but then again, I don't know how to work trending on Twitter to see what's trending, not just for me, but for other people. Yeah, well, sometimes it'll it'll change it up depending on region and everything else. So, send it over if it is trending to me. Just take a I screenshot. I'm looking, but I don't send it to. That umbrella actually send it to. I don't see it. I haven't found it yet. It's trending it. for you guys. Yeah, it's we'll just show in it. The UK? If it's trending. It's, it's in the UK. It's in the UK. Send me a screenshot. It's at here. Uh, my email. Here, give me a second. I'll type my email in here. Granular heaven. Granular 
Stampler. <laughs> that is an embarrassing freaking name, too. I don't if even know. Tram stamp lawyer is trending. I will die. I will <laughs> Oh my god. I will, I will turn the camera on and I will stand up on my chair and spin. What is happening? That umbrella guy. I can't see it. How do I it's trending for someone who said in Oklahoma for him too? Oh my god, send it to me. <laughs> oh my god, we need, I need it. We need it right now. I need a fix. How do I fix my settings so that I can no show it won't her. show no, it here? I don't Post it on if you're on Twitter, like take a screenshot, post it under something, anything. I just need it. Send just, it to I me. just need it. Oh, yeah, somebody sent it to me. <laughs> oh, it is trending. Holy shit. It is. I'll, I'll have it up in just a second. Okay. Give me a minute. It is you trending. Holy God. Are you kidding me? Oh. This is my first time. You have popped my trending cherry. You've done it. I've never been a part of a trend on Twitter. This is oh fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's tramp stamp. I, that's what you know if you want to if you want people to pay attention to something this is how you do it i mean honestly <laughs> if you if you want people to pay attention to the tonsil babies or to what's happening with the house anything this is how you get attention because people look at it and they think what the fuck is that about <laughs> you know that's what i do you know i'm like how a tramp stamp lawyer what does that mean <laughs> you know Jesus, your like, one tweet where you said greetings, tramp stamp lawyer, is up to 14,000 uh, impressions. Oh. <laughs> Mine's up to eight. Yeah, All I said was, hi there, tramp stamp lawyer. <laughs> oh, my God. I kind of expect a screed tonight. Oh, I hope so. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm almost ready. I was, I was taking screenshot. I was making sure to to have them archived for myself. So when I laugh about this, you know, this, this is almost as great as when we treated <laughs> Tug's tits. Somebody just tweeted at me. Tug's pickle has sent me. <laughs> with hashtag look, look at that right there. Check it out. No, shut up. Look, look, it's like here. It's in. There's a uh, world war three. Lady Louise. <laughs> hashtag tramp stamp lawyer. Step lawyer. Right along with uh, hashtag nursing. How the hell? Why is it that I can't see it? It's region. It's regionally decided. I just turned off my region though. So like what? So I have to like go to a specific region to see it. Yeah. They said it was UK, but somebody said it was trending for them. Here's, here's a really nice one. So <laughs> give me a second here. This is good too. <laughs> I like this because you get the uh, advertisements with them as well. So look here you have the nba mavericks versus the hawks uh -huh. and when you roll down <laughs> through here tramp stamp lawyer <laughs> <laughs> how is this happening i, I can't see oh. it it's making me crazy i'm gonna have to change to the uk that's what i'm gonna have to do oh man that's just amazing if people keep it's because people keep typing in hashtag tramp stamp lawyer so oh, keep keep it going keep it going i want to see it trending in new york so i can actually see it no if you keep it going <sighs> Oh, man. Here, I'm going to post about that real quick. Give me a second. I think that deserves a post. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I do. I think that deserves a post. Okay. Okay. So we got hashtag tramp stamp. I can't believe that actually happened. That's awesome. I can't either. Stamp a lawyer <laughs> trending. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going. Um, I'm going to put on there hashtag justice. <laughs> hashtag JFC. JFC. <laughs> hashtag justice for Clayton. <laughs> JFC. Yeah. Oh. Yes. JFC, baby. Jesus oh, this guy. Christ. Justice okay. for Clayton. That's what he means when he says it. All right. There we go. I posted it for everyone to see because it's going to be nice. You <laughs> deserve it. It's going to be nice. Yeah. You got it. You got it trended in multiple regions. That's craziness. Oh, my God. Okay. I was in the middle of Super Chats. I forgot what I was doing. I, I, totally, got, I totally got sidetracked. We were talking about very serious issues. Yes. Yes. I can't even remember what the hell I was rambling about before you're, that came up. You're tweet that you just typed allegedly <laughs> it's got 2500 impressions <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, hey, oh Tramp Stamp God. Lawyer's already got uh, like 24 uh, likes on it within its first minute. <laughs> uh, hashtag Tramp Stamp Lawyer. Mm. I, I love I'm adding I love cockroach that. cash train to oh, Tramp Stamp Lawyer. Give me that cockroach. Yeah, make sure you yeah. <laughs> Type a word in front of the, um, now, like if people are making a trend, that's good. But if you want your post to show up, type a real word in front of the hashtag. You'd oh, be damn like, it. You told me that too late. Well, Megan, <laughs> <laughs> it is not my job to teach you the interwebs <laughs> and the Googles. <laughs> yeah. If you type a name, like if you at somebody, here, here's a lesson for everybody. If you want something to trend, like you're talking smack about, say, Chris Boozy, he's, a, he's an easy one. You don't, put the ad at the beginning of it you type like a period or a word in front of it right because that if it reads the ad, yeah so well it treats hashtags if, if you're trying to get the hashtag out there to trend it doesn't matter because it counts how many are there but if you're wanting people to hit that post you want it to hit a maximal audience so it has to be a post you have to include it in the post you know now sometimes it doesn't play by those rules but it just you're more likely to have it work that way Fallen hero, thank you for the gifted membership that I put up here a long time ago. Apparently, oh look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, here, look at. Oh shit! Here, there. Put this up. Look at. Oh, God, why won't this show up on my screen? Look at the right side of the. <laughs> All right, you ready to share that then? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's magic. Funny. I'm I, I am that's very magical. proud of you all. I am <laughs> I am. I would adopt every one of you. I would. <laughs> and I would. carry you around in a backpack yes. and feed you snacks and breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have started a university. It's called Pickle You. You know? Yep. All right. We so pick, I was It's actually Dave Pick You, you know. You didn't hear about my, I never told you about that. Yeah. One of the things with, uh, with, with the hashtag pickle thing, I was making fun of like how easy you can, you know, make one of those stupid things up. And I was like, I'm going to start a university called pickle you or pick you, you know, cause we pick you and that, <laughs> that ended up trending for a hot minute. <laughs> It was like hashtag, I can't remember. It was like hashtag Tugs Pickle and hashtag pick you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love that. I love that you can put the stupidest things out, but they also have meaning. Like Tramp Stamp oh. Lawyer, if people start looking into what that's about, then you, you have a shit show out there that really does need people. I'm going to gonna retweet. I'm going to retweet my uh, PJ media articles with this, with the, uh, yeah, yeah, do it for sure with the hashtag actually. And you guys should retweet it and put it out there too, because that will actually give people the background on this story. And there are, there's so much of it. Um, and you could return the article actually. That's a, you know, if, a if it, there, there what 13, almost 1400 people still here. Thank you. By the way, you watched us like put up pictures of roaches and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are here? Almost fourteen hundred have stuck around oh, for the awesome. for the roaches yeah. and everything. You know, we we had a. I'll have to check the max, but there were a, it went over. I believe over two thousand for a hot minute. You know, you'll see a number down, but I, I have a counter that actually catches it from YouTube, so I have to check the max on it later. But I think I think it went over two thousand for a hot minute because I kept thinking maybe I need to slow the chat. And then I was like, no. And the moderators are probably like, damn you, Tug. Damn you for not slowing the chat down. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad about that. So Max Lab, thanks for the two. What the hells is going on? Indeed. Every time I say what the hell now, I think about them. <laughs> it's so funny. Fat yoga. P-H-A-T yoga. Thank you. Well, thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tug's Thugs. Appreciate you. Intellectual iconoclasm thank you for the five there canons and coc state a recusal shall be granted upon request all stop the judge has been uh presiding out of jurisdiction since that first motion see that's stuff i would like you know jeff the legal translator for me to be like jeff you know <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it, there's a UT or there. 
welcome from a fellow Tennessean. Janice, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tugs Thugs. <laughs> I can't believe I say that for every... <laughs> when, when, like, the, the depth trial, you know, you got, like, 800 things, I'd still be like, I'm not just going to say welcome for joining. You deserve that because you support the channel, so thank you. Risa, thank you for the month there. Hey, Tug, Megan, and that other guy that was here earlier. No, I'm just <laughs> I, I, I really like Jay. Like, if I... <sighs> I, I do want to make this clear. If I may, if I if I laugh about a person on YouTube, like if it's another YouTuber, I I don't like drama. Like every now and then I get into it, but normally I'm cutting up with friends. I hope that comes across. But <laughs> yeah, you know. I think I think they get it. I hope so. if not, clip it and send it to Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> We're gonna call out. We're gonna have a wrap off. You know. <laughs> Jeff's been making songs. Will he'll he'll hit me back with a country song? <laughs> the country song. He will, Tour man. Wars. Tour I, Wars. I, I loved how like Jeff doesn't really want to offend people too badly either. I like that about him. Like he's, I was like, oh, you sweet man. He was like, uh, he's so sweet. I was like, man, he was like, I made the song. Do you think it's a little too? Man, mm. I was like, oh my god, you know. I, I made one where it was laughing about how uh, somebody's lip looked like they had an STD on it. That was one of my song lines. <laughs> <laughs> I like, so I don't think it's going to be any worse than that. Oh, Wheezy Wheels. Thank you for the five there. For a little treat for Baby Umbrella. Thank you. Thank you. She's funny. She's actually, uh, she was like, okay, Dad, I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, I, I got her tablet out. She has a learning tablet. And I was like, yeah. she's like, all right. <laughs> That's where she's been. So be safe. Thanks for the vibe. Much love to you all. Thanks um, for all you're doing. Hey, thank you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Make sure to, by the way, that you are sub to Megan. We have been, um, we've been streaming. I, I want to see, M Megan is criminally undersubbed. <laughs> thank I you. I would have more subs, but I, I, obsessively cover stuff so people are like eh, if you know and, and you go back and forth people want you to just pick up a topic and run you know like a lot of people have gotten in society now or are wanting a, a topic switch off every day and i don't think that's justice really so <laughs> I, I don't grow as much from that and that's okay megan however is criminally undersubbed so if you've not gone to megan fox's channel and subscribed I know where you live. No, I'm just lying. <laughs> <laughs> I will hunt you down and beat you with a fucking hammer. <laughs> I will slide <laughs> you under the. I will slide you under the refrigerator and feed you to the cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Tammy, thanks for the vibe. Getting my meat grinder immunity in early. <laughs> that was smart. Meat grinder immunity. That was smart. That was very smart. <laughs> Rider chick, thanks for the two there. Group of cash for lug and bug candy fine. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, uh, my oldest daughter, you know, little umbrella girl. She she tells me all the time. She's like, people like you, but they love me. I make your channel. <laughs> I love that. I'm like, you know, it is true. <laughs> Wheezy wheels, also thank you. Welcome, thank you for your membership. Welcome to Tug Stokes. Appreciate you, Allie. Thanks for the five. Jeremy announced on legal live chat earlier, Lynette's legal support request got rejected. Did you catch that, mm -hmm. Megan? Yeah. So, again, legal Jeremy support. announced. What's, what's legal support? I don't understand. Was she asking? Oh, she was asking trying. Money. Was she trying to say she was indigent and needed an attorney paid for or something? I, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised that that would get denied because you don't get that in civil court. Very, very rarely do you get a free lawyer. So I would, I'm not surprised by that at all. That's crazy. I mean, asking for that free lawyer, you know, like basically make that guy over there pay six figures plus, you know, to get some justice. But me, oh, I want to use your tax dollars. Right. Yeah, you don't, it, it, word to the wise, you cannot get that in civil court. It's it's next to impossible. <laughs> there are a few times in certain cases like domestic violence or which would be criminal though, but family court, in some family court cases, 
if you're indigent, you can qualify for some legal help. But in this type of case, defamation case, uh, no, no. That's not it's for the Fed case, isn't it? Uh, is that the yeah? Is the that federal case is defamation and yeah. fraud and some other stuff. Yeah, denied. That's fascinating. Tramp stamp lawyer is still trending number two in <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Pammy, thanks for the 10. Hashtag tramp stamp lawyer. Hashtag tramp stamp law splainer. I like that. I like that. It's <laughs> tramp it's stamp. Law He's law splaining the interweb. See, I love how uh, I love I love I always love that that slogan. You know, law splaining. I always love uh -huh. that. So that's why that's I was good. like law splaining. <laughs> yeah, like it. Sandra. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Yeah. When I cover those too, and I'm like, thank you. I I very much appreciate those. I love that. I love what those do. What they signify. Sandra, thank you for the super sticker there too. Thank you for that. Sandy, thank you as well for five uh, memberships. My brain went blank. Thank you for the uh, tram stamp lawyer. No, wait, no. <laughs> five gifted memberships. Sticky Widget. Mm, sticky Widget. Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> I like that name. No statement, but plenty of statement and backing. Thank you for your backing. <laughs> Snake Plush Kitten. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love that freaking avatar and everything. It's so that makes funny. Me laugh time. Thanks for five. I don't have anything worth saying, but if I did, my YouTube channel would be named Permanently Demonetized. With Snake <laughs> Plush Kitten. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. I felt like that all summer <laughs> because I was demonetized yep. the entire channel all summer. Well, I hate that. You know, I like, I've gotten to where. I like doing live streams. Like that's what I've been doing. Like um, I've done one video in a month, which yeah, I need to do more videos too, but you know, live streams are just, they're so connective. You know, you not only have like, if you have a person here, like me and you talking, that's fun goofing off, but also the people that are actually your channel, you get to interact and they are the channel. So yeah, bouncing off of the chat is so much fun. And I, yeah. I find myself like not wanting to make videos too, because it's like, oh, I'm bored by myself. This is boring. And like, I don't come up with the good jokes unless the chat is, you know, chatting and doing its chat thing. <laughs> Ellie Fant says I came because I heard there are breadsticks. See, that wouldn't happen <laughs> if you weren't here. There are breadsticks, pull up a chair. They're warm got, and crusty, and they're good. <laughs> I wonder if Tramp Stamp Lawyer has uh is is freaking out on Twitter yet. Hmm. Oh God, I haven't looked. I, I I'm, haven't. I'm I'm scared. I'm not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am I am totally totally turned on by it right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, uh, I wonder if he can. I wonder if he knows that uh, Tramp Stamp Lawyer is trending. <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> probably he hasn't posted in a few hours but let's see oh he's still on though he's he's been on see well, here's, he a, here's the thing he i'm gonna, going to well, get off of twitter but that yeah but i'm, I'm gonna give him a little advice here this is funny when you're pretending you're not online permanently raging don't like posts because <laughs> i can tell how long ago that was <laughs> he's like oh, i haven't posted funny. in three well you like something an hour ago while we were live laughing at you Oh no, he's still there. Oh, there's one 19 minutes ago. He was okay. So, how can you explain five plus positive pregnancy tests after Clayton? <laughs> I mean, is there some hormone she can take to create a false test result? Yes. What? It's called HCG. Here, and you can a... inject it. It's a fertility drug. Here's the thing, you know, I've had two kids, you know, plus there have been other more tragic incidents, all of those you have, you don't just have someone peeing in a cup or some blood tests, you know, they monitor the child, they monitor them, ultrasounds, my Lord, you know, every time you go in, you find out something, they check baby heartbeat, everything else. There's, there's extensive records, you know, I could go right. in and be like, sure. Yes, we can, pre you know, <laughs> if you have kids? Well, if you haven't heard them, yes, I could go back and, and prove that that was there. There's a It's blog. also really weird. It's also, okay, so today in one of his blog posts, he posted what appears to be a blood test that we hadn't seen before. This is something that she had never released before. So, and it's something that I had asked for. I was like, okay, fine. You've got the pee stick test. You've got like five of those. Okay, fine. 
what where's the follow-up blood test that confirms that your hcg levels double or triple or whatever it is every time you go because that's how you know you've you're staying pregnant especially in the beginning so once you're three weeks it's usually your hcg level would be 5 to 50 mlu four weeks would be 5 to 426 five weeks 18 to 7000 and like 7300 six weeks you're looking at a thousand to 56000 seven to eight weeks 7600 to 229000 so now we're getting up to big numbers right by the time you get to the 18 week mark which is 17 18 weeks which is where this blood test was taken your levels of hcg should be somewhere between 4000 and 165,400. According to what he posted, this blood test, alleged this alleged blood test that she took in <laughs> October, she would have been, and she says she was pregnant as of June, so she'd be about 16, 17 weeks. She should be in that, what did I just say? 4,000 to 165,000. That's what the levels should be. Her levels, according to this test, are reference ranges 102, 102. What? So if I'm reading this correct, it says HCG quantitative, and I'm not a doctor. I don't know how to read medical reports, but it gives the results and it says 102H. It doesn't say anything else. It doesn't say that it, it's not coded in any way to tell us if it's low or abnormal or something. It's all it says is that. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's blood test. Say the only blood test I ever had was when I tried to join the bloods versus the Crips. You saw my picture that they I made. That's what it was like. You're a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only blood test I know of. The date on the test, Ellie, is 10 16 23. She should have been like around 16, 17, 18 weeks pregnant by then. So the levels should have been in the 4,000 to over 100,000 to 200,000 range. This, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I guess I need like, you know, an OBGYN to tell me what this means. I think that she has a elevated rate for whatever reason of hcg which can happen i was actually reading about that today and this elevated rate like it can actually occur in rare circumstances of in people who um are around animals this is so bizarre and we know that you know she's around horses um and by this stage too by the way by 17 weeks you're not getting blood draws anymore they're doing sonograms. They're doing heart. They're doing fetal heart monitoring. So I don't understand this. I really don't understand why you would go and get a blood test unless you knew that your HCG level was going to be elevated and cause confusion. I mean, that's my, my opinion on this. My opinion on this is that I don't think that this is real. I don't think this is what it is. And if she really believes she was pregnant, if she really believed that she was pregnant. So let's give her that she believed five days after she was with Clayton that she was pregnant somehow by the crusty Claytons that she rubbed up against. Okay, fine. Let's say she believed it wholeheartedly. Five days later, she believed it. 11 days later, she believed it. All this time, she's taking these pregnancy pee stick tests. HCG levels come back positive every time. She waits until September to get a blood test? This is the first not, blood test? Not just, not just. Not that. September. I said, I didn't even say October, not September, October. She, no. But she believes it so much that she fakes a sonogram? Well, right. So, but wait, but then we were told, then we were told that in November, she had, her lawyer is now changing her story again. Her last lawyer, Corey Keith, who I miss desperately. Can I just say Corey Keith? I like this new lawyer. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been called <laughs> terrible names in anything in a long time. You keep that material coming. I, love <laughs> I miss Corey Keith. But Corey Keith made the argument in front of Judge Mata that she had this alleged miscarriage not in November, 
that she she found out in November that she had a miscarriage a month or two before. So that would be October, September. <laughs> this test is from October. So you're telling me, I don't understand this at all. I, I, I don't understand this at all. She also said, see, this is how I, f I feel crazy. She also said that she passed two fetal sacs sometime at this, whenever this day is, she doesn't remember. And she took pictures of them and she sent them to her sister. Okay. So she passed bloody sacs and she sent pictures to her sister and her mother. But in November, she told the judge she was 100% pregnant and tw 24 weeks along in November. The, it, none of this adds up, you guys. It doesn't add up. If she, she could not have believed she was still pregnant in November if she had passed these two fetal sacs. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have to have Dave Neal on again to explain all this to me. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to, I need to know a few things. I need to know does, uh, if I, if I shorten my pants, see, I don't wear shorts. So if I get shorter shorts, will I understand the case quicker? <laughs> does that help? Does that also make me funnier? Like, you know, does that increase uh, oxygen make me funnier or I'm not, I'm not just curious. And I think it's really strange that this alleged, I don't think we've <laughs> seen this October test before. Yeah. And he's changing the timeline. He's doing all sorts of crazy stuff that, Look, I just, I genuinely am confused. I don't understand. And That's so what I'm saying. If, you need shorter shorts. <laughs> shorter shorts. Is he, is, I, I feel very gaslit. I'm, I'm gaslit on this one. I don't understand. I, I, I just don't, I, I'm sorry. I don't know where to go with this. He, they're drop, he's dropping medical records and, October 16th, he says October 16th, but the record actually says it was taken on October. Yeah, I did say that. 16th. Okay, October 16th. Like, I can't even read anymore. I'm so confused about all of this. I don't... <laughs> uh, this HCG electromillenniumescent immunoassay was performed using Roach Alexis Regents. This is Roach? like reading Chinese. Roach? <laughs> yes, Roach. Hmm. <laughs> this assay is a is a total beta subunit assay. It measures intact nicked free beta and nicked free beta HCG. Rebaselining may be necessary when using another assay. I don't know what any of that means, but my assay hurts just reading this. <laughs> assay. <laughs> <laughs> roach babies. Yes, roach babies. I don't know, you guys. Are there any <laughs> medical are there medical professionals? in the chat yeah he's claiming that he is not dropping these medical records against the judge's order he his exact words on that as if we really want to hear them but his exact words are that she has a well i don't know there's too many words oh there is no court order stopping laura from publishing her own records and i think maybe that's true but i think it's weird that the judge was like, I don't want anybody sharing anything that's given in discovery between the two of you. And then he goes and does it. Okay. I guess you could take that risk. You do you boo go in, you know, and maybe the judge won't be mad. Maybe she will. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. This is confusing enough that I don't think short pants are going to cover it. I'm just going to <laughs> pants off. Nobody can see. <laughs> it, <you know? laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> it's a no pants kind of stream. Hey, baby. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional. <laughs> the, pants, the pants need to get shorter so that we can, our understanding can grow. <laughs> I, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> understanding grows. I bet. I bet we could get a. I bet we could get a really cool scream about that. Oh my god! Uh, I hope people are. I hope people are like uh, keeping up with all the funny stuff. Like I, I, I've been looking at the explanations coming out of the the new lawyer's mouth, and it's hilarious. Like you said, it's to me, it seems like a rewriting of this case. Yeah. You know, it, it's like oh, we got to retell this story, and maybe if we say something enough, it will become reality. <laughs> well, I, uh. I think that the retelling of this case is what 
always had to happen for her to have any kind of defense. But again, there are too many timelines. Did CERN turn on and the timeline shifted and we have two different Octobers, two different Novembers, and Corey Keith was like defending her in the other timeline that we jumped out of. So and we're now trending we're, in, we're wait, I'm sorry, we're trending in um, Ireland too? Yeah, number two. That's awesome. I'm getting all these, uh, people are sending me a bunch of screenshots. You know, <laughs> I'm looking through them. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. I'm sorry, I can't keep my mind on one thing. You know, I'm a... Uh, I'm terrible. I get shiny squirrel syndrome. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. But I don't understand this, this, di these different timelines. Look, uh, I will say, I, this is, this is absolutely a hundred percent true. I am always interested in what's true. I want to know what's true. I have always been after what's true. I always correct myself. If I've gotten something wrong, there is absolutely a ton of information here that like you could get dates and times mixed up and whatever. There's been absolutely no effort to get anything wrong here. And for her to withhold stuff like this when she's telling everyone, I have mountains of evidence and I've given out. She had a public drop box. People went through it with a fine tooth comb and didn't find anything that convinced anybody that this woman was ever pregnant. That's it. I'm going to have to be wearing hot pants to understand the new timeline. That's what hot I'm pants. Wear hot pants. Mm, man. <laughs> Tramp stamp hot pants, lawyer. You saw my roach body. It looks good. Imagine that with hot pants. Hey, put, get my little roach body with hot pants on it. See if, see if AI will put that together. That might be okay. sexy. You never know, sexy. man. Mm, man. Sexy. Yeah, you might. Oh, man. Look at those little legs. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I had a super jet up the whole time. Sandra, thanks for the five. Laughing my effing A off. <laughs> Here's a little something for this comedy. Indeed. Indeed. Carolyn, thanks for five. No being professional lately. This has been extra funny. <laughs> this is all professional. I don't know what you're all talking about. <laughs> Sitting at tea. Thank you for the uh, two there. Lug, contribution to avoid the meat grinder. <laughs> Smart moves in it. Smart moves. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for the two. Clayton hired counsel early November, not mid-December. Yeah, that's another, that's something you brought up um, last night. You know, he said, Council was brought in in December. You're like, nah, uh, November, November, no, baby. He had, yeah. I mean, he's trying to change everything about this timeline, which is why I'm starting to feel like, did I jump timelines? Do we spell Berenstein's right again? Is Berenstein Bears spelled correctly? Did we, did somebody quick, check, check. Is Nelson Mandela dead or alive? Someone. <laughs> Hurry, fuck, turn back time. Oh, God, I'm never singing that again. That's terrible. <laughs> if I could totally turn back time and if I could find a way that's good <laughs> God. Sarah thanks for the two there he's going to regret and that's hilarious I can't wait oh that's going to be fun like I said it's going to be oh it's going to be good stuff Celeste thanks for the two I'm dying you guys made me laugh so much thank you thank you don't die though please <laughs> K-Rat oh here's another thing oh sorry no oh, I like ahead. this one read this one make sure you read this one <laughs> This one right here, Megan. Yeah. If you get sued, we'll fund it. Okay, I will. Hey, I'll, I'll dig extra deep under my fridge. <laughs> I will for that will. cockroach cash. Yeah, yeah, dig really I, I, deep. I'll tell it. you what this this case is crazy, and I I'm like, okay, here's another question that needs to be answered. How does a woman who miscarried in September or October? It couldn't have been November. Remember, she said in court. It wasn't November. It was before November. How does a woman who miscarried continue to grow a belly so that by November 2, she has a giant baby belly that she's rubbing on camera? Hello? Anyone? Bueller? Be does Bueller. anyone have an answer Bueller. to that? eating bread sticks and has on short pants. <laughs> You're on AI again, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, maybe the short pants thing will work out. I was like, roach with an umbrella mask on. The mask is red and white. It's human size and very funny. It's eating bread sticks. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This is amazing. Some of these are really good, actually. Oh, I've got to send these to myself. I can't say they're wearing gold chains because it gets they're get they get racist. Oh, now it's unsafe. Now it says it's unsafe. Look at what I said. Two cockroaches are in the kitchen with cash and coins all over the floor. One roach has the head of a woman with light brown curly hair wearing glasses. The other is wearing a red and white mask. They are both wearing hot pants. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like the hot pants were too far. You monster. <laughs> it's like how to, it, it next gets confused. It's like, it's like, Hey, I hot pants. Obviously I can't make those races. Deny. <laughs> I can't make those races. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, wait a minute. Like <laughs> Microsoft never told me how to do that. Denied, denied. All right, let me see. And one of the things he said here that really pisses me off is uh, if anyone tells you that there are no medical records supporting Laura's pregnancy, that person is lying to you. And if anyone tells you the only proof Laura had was take home P type HPT pregnancy test, that press person is lying to you. No, no. We have said all along, when we are talking about medical records, we are not including HCGP tests on sticks. I did ask for blood tests. Oh, my God. <laughs> are those you. boxing shorts? They are. It's like, who wears short shorts? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Now I, now I want short shorts like that. Here, I think I have another one. Give me a minute. I got to find them. I lost it for a second. My AI you know. is getting worse and like dumber and dumber. Yeah, it's they just, do sometimes. Like when you start having fun, you're like, no, that's not what I asked for. That's stupid. not what I wanted. And Oh, it's anyway. really fun when you're making music and you're like, uh, <laughs> no, those aren't short pants. Look at that. He's those short are... with pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, not what I meant. Those pants are not hot at all. Oh, Try God. short shorts. I, this doesn't turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's it right there look at that oh i like the breadsticks oh, i like it he's got a, it's a little garbage like a little bucket like a garbage bucket <laughs> <laughs> and the short shorts <laughs> they're really short too uh, oh those are great look he rolled them up i oh, like to ro like roll them shorts <laughs> Uh, oh, look, he's got socks on too. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at giant <laughs> socks on and really short. <laughs> he's got them pulled up to his mid legs. <laughs> oh, never thought oh. I'd say, man, that roach is fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I was on super chat. <laughs> Let me. John S., thank you for the 16 months. Regret to say, I may be canceling my membership soon. It has nothing to do with you. Love your content. Hate YouTube censorship. Tired of giving the money indirectly. You can always do, um, like I said, there's different ways to go about things, too. I understand that. Here's the thing. Other platforms, this is the belly of the beast. If you really want to think about it, yes, you can go to a platform where you may be able to say more. But this is taking it right there in the middle of, again, yeah, they censor. You have to figure out ways to, to talk about subjects you shouldn't have. But at the end of the day, you reach a larger, uh, a larger group of people. And you reach people that they may not agree with you in any way, shape, or form. And that's the beautiful thing. You know, it's, it's like other trials that we've uh, looked at. You know, despite the fact that Twitter, for example, um, when we started talking about uh, false accusations, Twitter is the birthplace of false accusations being weaponized the way that they have. Me Too came out of there and was weaponized with false allegations. That's where you challenge it. You know, you can go to somewhere else, but you're going to change hearts and minds. That's really where you got to go. So I understand it. I just, you know, when I look at that, that's the way I look at it. What's up, John, by the way? Thanks for the five there. I've had dozens of comments on various videos deleted lately. Tired of it. So done. It's my belief that the cycle of politics has come around again. Oh, yeah. 2024. That's why uh, that, that's why that that current um, six part tortoise media thing that it didn't just focus on bots and trolls. It talked about election cycle because it's very much it, it is in the middle of the election cycle and they do. Uh, 
they do censor quite a bit of material during that, you know, and they, they change daily what's offensive and what's not too. So I hear you. Man. They do, but I kind I of feel, I feel like YouTube, we can't abandon it. We have to try because it is the largest platform. I have a rumble channel too. So, you know, we can always escape there if it gets too bad, but you have to try and stay. I know that like, yeah, you're right. Super chats go to YouTube, but I have PayPal. I've got a cash app, Venmo. You know, there's other ways. A locals, MeganFox.Locals.com. You guys can hang out over there. You've got locals too, don't you? You can send me gold bullion. and You, know. <laughs> you can send me a gold bar any day. Yeah, yeah. You can send me like, um, you know, if you got if you got a gold grill you want to trade in somewhere, but you're like, hey, the jeweler won't take it, you know, because I have a little extra slobber. I don't care. Just wipe it off. Throw it in the thing. Okay. That's really weird, man. <laughs> uh, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna be like, "Well, I didn't have that, but I found this laying on the ground." <laughs> like, wait a minute, did you just send me some tea? <laughs> no, no. Actually, I don't. I don't know if you can. I. It's funny. I don't own anything like that, but I do own a prosthetic arm that is not mine. <laughs> so I mean, that is somebody. Uh, Somebody brought over a prosthetic leg the other day, too, and was like, hey, I saw your prosthetic arm. You want a leg deal with it? I was like, what the fuck is going on? It had a tennis shoe. Uh, they were like, I found it in a storage unit. It was like abandoned. The, the person uh, passed away, and this was, I guess, their extra leg. <laughs> I was like, "That's I don't know if I want that. Uh, you have to pull up AI's new attempt at this meme. It's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> look at that hair though oh I, my know, God. I don't know why it did that it's getting that so hair tight. Is sexy though but look at the short shorts that, look at that that those shorts are so short that you can like see my knees on my on one of <laughs> one set of my eight legs that's amazing it is kind of interesting it only puts one pair of shorts on there you know it doesn't put next ones I said they were both wearing short shorts. <laughs> it's like, uh-uh, nudity. You're like, oh my God, Bing, how dare you? <laughs> I, I can't. So, oh, I man. love that, you uh, Matthew, too. thanks for the two. Megan's new band, the B and her minions. <laughs> uh, Tracy, thanks for the two there. Tug, it's time for a new platinum grill. I know, that's what I keep saying. Make it rain <laughs> platinum grills. Liz D, thanks for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate you. Marianne, thanks for the 13 months. The deep throating minions. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, thanks for the five douche canoe dollars. D, -D dollars. Oh, D dollars. No. The D dollars are mm, sexy. Liz, also thank you for that $14 super sticker. $13.99. That's a very specific number. That's interesting. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Natasha, thanks for the two there. Here's some super chat bucks for breadsticks. Oh, by the way, Megan, it's over two hours. You've been here a long time. Are you supposed to be here this long? I know. I know. <laughs> I am. I'm supposed to be doing something. I should probably go soon. It's so funny. I was when Megan was like, I got two hours. I was like, is that two hours? Wink, wink. Or is that two hours? Because <laughs> anytime either of us say, I, the other day, I was like, I, I got about 30 minutes. <laughs> then, yeah. Three like hours, hours later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry, having fun, man. You forget how long it's been. It's true. Annie, thanks for the five there. Hashtag, hashtag breadsticks. <laughs> breadsticks. There you go. Susan, thanks for the two. <laughs> breadsticks for the drama. Get those breadsticks. Get those breadsticks. And thanks for the five there. I still can't believe all of this is happening because of a weed gummy and a BJ. Look at us. Who would have thought? Indeed. Oh, who would have thought? Breadsticks, weed gummies, and, and a little tonsillitis would bring us together as a group. And, and again, and again, here's the, here's the other thing. She is now claiming, and she's always been very nebulous about what happened that night. She's mm. never, she never went into details. She's now claiming that they, that there was actual intercourse. Okay. She's claiming but, there's ARP too. Oh yeah. Now she's, yeah. ARP. Uh, technically, she says you could technically technical that's a definition. Art. Technically, that's a definition. But then, in the in the same week, she's sending him an email that that says she that he's never been in there. 
Yeah, he's like, oh, try it out and you'll find out. How you'll find if you tr if you try me, you'll find out. Like what? Come on now, we're not stupid. I. <laughs> mm. uh, so many bad jokes come up there. Up, oh, kids coming. Give me a second here. Hey, what girl. No freaking chill the book. What? What? Look at that. Oh yeah, it's it's first one hundred words. It has words with it. Why the chair do? Why is there a chair on there? I don't know. It's look, it has different words. See? No, keep it on this one. You have to do. Yeah, they're do colors. One. See, you tell you get to say which colors that are. What is that? Um, it's a duck, right? Yeah. This what is color is it? Yellow. Yeah, that's right. Here, why don't you go read your book? I'm gonna be done in no, a few I, minutes. No, I don't want to do it because. Well, well, here, take it upstairs for a few minutes, and one. we'll read it together. We'll read the whole book together in a little bit, for real. We'll go over the whole book. Can you do this one? Yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna read a few color ones. <clears throat> First 100 words by Dad. Colors. Ooh, there's colored paint. Ooh. Paint. Yeah. yeah. What are those? Are they shoes? Shoes. What color? Red. Red. Give me five. That's awesome. Good job. That's a. What is that? Fish. Fish. What color is it? Red. No, this color. What color is this one? Um, is that orange? Yes. Orange. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. What is that? Do you know what that is? Green. That's a pear. Pear. And that's green. You said it. Good job. Good job. That is what, what, that's pink. That looks too red, actually. That's, that's a red flower. That's confusing. They give you a red flower picture with a pink <laughs> background and they're like, actually, that's pink. And she was like, that's red. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it is red. <laughs> That's a pink flower. Four more here. Okay. Um, we got what color is that? Blue. Yeah, that's a, a blue soccer ball. Wow. Here's a. I want a pink soccer ball. Pink oh, soccer yellow ball. soccer. I, know. I, know. I want a yellow soccer ball. I know. We'll write them and tell them. How uh, dare you not make that a yellow soccer ball? I got you. Uh, what is that? A bunny. Yeah, it's a bunny. It's a white bunny. What are those? What is black? Yeah, they're black buttons. And last one, what is this? A bike. Uh, yep. It's a, it's what color? Is that purple? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Give me five. Here. Take I it up. There's a law in this. I know. Well, you got to take it upstairs for I right can't now. know it. Yeah. I don't know all the words. I know. We'll go over it in a few minutes. Let me finish my, uh, I got a, I got about 10 minutes and then you please, can come back. Okay. 10 minutes. Please, please, please. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Please. Yeah. I'll, here, I'll keep the book. 10 minutes though. Then we'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, okay, good job. Thumbs up. All right. All right. You can go back down a few minutes, though, okay? Okay. Okay. Love you. Love in you. The yeah. Okay. In the morning. Yeah. Love you. Do, do I not get love? Okay. <laughs> in the All right. See you in the morning. Okay. Yeah. See you in the morning. <laughs> Rhea Ryan, thanks for the two. Poor douche. No, his tidy whities are too tight. Uh, it feels like it. Wheezy Wheels, thanks for the two. Thank you for making me laugh. Indeed. Indeed. I've had fun tonight. I'm starting to lose control again there. Though, so I'm, I'm going to have to get soon. <laughs> Wheezy Wheels, thanks for the gifted membership too. Thank you. Also, Snake Plush Kitten added in tug roaches before we, we went over that. That was good. <laughs> City Good Chief too. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Appreciate that. Thank you. Who is that? Arkham's? Thanks for two. Asked to wear latex in a living room in England. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. All right. I'm just sure that he's going, but Snake Plushkin, thanks for five. Look at Terry Crews. Yeah, this is talking about, you know, talking about what happened there. He said, it, he, oh, I hear it coming back down the steps. I'm, lo I'm losing control here. Hey, you got to go upstairs for a minute. Hey, I'm going to walk her up. Can you hold this for just a minute? I mean, yeah, there's some material here. Obviously, I can't read it. Obviously, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Just give okay, five, oh, give me just two minutes. All right, chat, chat, talk to me, chat. I I just can't get over this. I can't I can't get over this story. I he is doing a this lawyer I guess is doing a good job like throwing bombs and trying to put everybody off you know balance doing what Laura does. These two are a perfect match for one another. A perfect match. Delusional, perhaps, is the word. You know, I wonder how he's going to explain this. I, I can't put it up on the screen because I don't have the controls, but I want to know how he's going to explain the ex parte email 
that, that Laura sent on August 1st to Judge Bacchus's uh, assistant. And this was about the Greg Gillespie case. And listen to what she says. Listen to what she says. She says in this ex parte email to a judge on March 4th, 2022, I was drugged, violently aided, and arped. I have, I have strong reasons to believe that both the defendant and his counsel, and that would be Greg Woodnick at the time, same counsel, were involved. And there is a pending FBI investigation regarding the incident. Um, That's insane. That was part of a very long, crazy email that she sent ex parte to a judge in the case. And of course, the only response from the judge was, this is not allowed. I afforded this to opposing counsel. And she, by the way, she filed a, a bar complaint uh, against Greg and, uh, and other lawyers of hers. She filed bar complaints. And uh, at least the I know that two of them have been dismissed. Um, the two that I know about, I don't know what happened to the others because she's filed bar complaints against almost every attorney she's had. Uh, she's filed at least three, I believe. And I don't know what happened to like the earlier ones, but I know that the last two and the FBI, uh, they were contacted by and Dave contacted the FBI. There's no investigation into Dave. There's no investigation because she did it to him, too. She said the FBI is investigating this. And one thing, you know what else we have? We have a phone call that the FBI, at least someone claiming to work for the FBI, uh, made to the Maricopa County asking for a safety check, a wellness check on her because of the time she's called the FBI and they were concerned about her behavior. So, I mean, you guys, I mean, this is so, it's so outrageous it's so it's and there's so many moving parts. Like, does he know that? I wonder if he knows that. Just saying. I think sometimes the monies, the, the he knows it. The monies, though, the monies, they don't. You know, you've heard of beer goggles. Well, that's the legal version of that. Right. Thanks for the 17 right. months. It was me who sent it from the UK. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I like the trend day. Kat, thanks for the two. I'll have to pick up um, Cedar. I'm, I'm not sure what that am I? I'm not sure what that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's saying there. Sometimes like spell check. God, oh, you see some of the stuff I see. Oh, it, Megan, yeah, it screws you're like, it what up. in the what? <laughs> it screws it up so bad. No. Wheezy Wheels, thanks for five. I'm going to be wrecked tomorrow. I need to sleep, but I can't. It's all your fault. I'm going to cut my name out. It's all your fault, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, they survived. Tug and Megan can submit a Spanish version hashtag for all of those who are bilingual. <laughs> La cucaracha. La cucaracha. La cucaracha. La cucaracha. Dancing in my short pants. <laughs> <laughs> Rhode Island lady, thanks for five. Cockroach cash coach. Cockroach cash coach. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Oh, that's funny. Catherine, thanks for the two. I'm in mean, um, still wearing my pickle. You sweater. I say that's great. Yes, you can go on that umbrella guy.com and find many a beautiful thing. You know, pickle. You can get your pick you shirts. You can get wonderful talking pickle. Everything. Everything. Get in there. You know, it is. We have some funny stuff. You should check it out. That umbrella com. Thank you, Kathy. And Matt Red Queen, thank you for the gifted membership. Appreciate that. Tracy, thanks for the five there. Cult Cash, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Susan, Cult Cash. Cult Cash. Thanks for the gifted membership there. Thank you. Frosty Pepper, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you for that. Joanne, thanks for the five. It's 2.15 a.m. in the UK. I'm laughing so much, I'm afraid I'm waking my kids in the next room. <laughs> it's here hilarious. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. Sometimes I get like, really late. Uh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Snake flesh getting things too. Hashtag tramp stamp ambulance chaser. <laughs> Chase those ambulances. <laughs> Wheezy Wheels, thanks for five. So you're saying, so saying you have a, You've had a miscarriage when you have it is plain wrong. My mom had seven before having me. It makes me so mad. Indeed. You know, it, it, we make jokes about this stuff, but it's real. You know, these are real subjects and they're infuriating. 
it is infuriating. Like yep. I think she's had some trauma in her life, but I don't think miscarriage is one of them. And I just, I just, this is. Oh, by the way, too. Like I've talked to obstetricians about this one in particular, and I'm sure he won't care if I say because he was in my chat when he said it, so it was public. And I talked to jo Dr. Joe Corcoran who was the expert witness in the Maya Kowalski case, very long time OBGYN, um, and then went into hospital administration. And he listened to the story and he said, it's impossible. It is impossible to have a miscarriage at 17, 18 weeks, which is when she is saying that this had to have happened and not have actual medical attention, not a telehealth appointment with a doctor over Zoom. It's impossible. You would have to get medical treatment. And so far, there's nothing. What is the Esquire? Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just no, saw that. Yeah, I'm, I was done. I was done with uh, that. was perfect. Oh, yeah, God. I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> good times. <laughs> it was good. Uh, Emma, thanks for the two. Tramp Stamp Lawyers, uh, trending in Australia. Man, we got it all over the place right now. It's amazing. Just keep it going. Like, you know, keep sharing and hashtagging. Scott's Cat, thanks for the two there. Try a Mankind. Oh, sorry. I see the next one. It says, sorry, try Mankini is what it was saying. Mankini. <laughs> That's what I need. I'll be so sexy. <laughs> Tracy, I always love this. You know, you two are Sofa King Awesome. <laughs> I agree. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> Intimidator, thanks for the tip. Hope you had a great Easter weekend. To did thank you. Got a dad joke for you. You can share it with the family. Do you know uh, what? Uh, do you know what you can say about a pig that he's using bathroom in an RV? It goes wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crystal, thank one. you for the 18 months. I love the dad jokes. Funny. Go, Go to bed, AI. AI you're AI drunk. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> My AI totally got drunk uh, as I was I doing this. I good. gave up. It's it's drunk and not up to working on this properly. <laughs> Major mom's like, thanks for saying this. Our lady's not up to navigating more platforms. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I get if you're on Twitter, you know, Twitter can be funny. It's, Twitter's a place where you can argue with people and do all kinds of stuff. It's a it's a nasty place sometimes. But I like that you can bait celebrities into responding to you. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Yeah, I like it. Uh, don't like responses I, when you bait something. You could just mute the thread afterwards, so you don't actually get you know you don't see the replies. You know you're like aha, this is gonna be funny, and then just mute it and come back later if you want to check it out. <laughs> Go about your day. Who cares? Uh, Liberty Bell, thanks for five. Liberty Bell lyric. Okay, so I don't have any gold tea, but uh, I can send you the one I got from under my granddaughter's pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got enough of those. I pay. I end up paying high dollar for the uh, the ones in the house. I keep hearing about the the. My daughter was like, Every, "You said everything gets more expensive at the at Walmart, so if we have to, you know, not buy as much of this or that." She's like, "My teeth have gotten more expensive too." I was like, oh. <laughs> "You tell that tooth fairy." They're like, "Oh," <laughs> and Vanessa, that umbrella guy, I chat once uh, to tell you, it trended in Ireland from Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> thank you that is the last one there i know you need to go so do you want to do. channel podcast anything um, yeah the podcast fox 10 daily which i haven't done in several days <laughs> i'm on spring break though people mm -hmm. it's spring break uh -huh. and uh we'll see if i get back to it next week maybe i'll kill the whole thing i don't know i i <laughs> know if i'm capable of doing a youtube channel and a podcast <laughs> it was it, it was an experiment in the first place anyway to see if it had enough interest that i could monetize it and so now i need to find out like can i monetize it and if i can't if it's not if it's if i can't then i'm probably gonna just you know shelve it for now because i'm not gonna do shit for free obviously so right. that's that's what's going on there it was really just an experiment but it has been fun. If you want to check out Fox 10 Daily, it is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. And it may just be a one, <laughs> a couple month thing that I did once and we'll laugh about later. Um, yep. But it was fun while it lasted. There's, 
there's another thing I'm going to send over. So C2E2, they've been banning people. And one of the things that they did, I thought this was messed up. What's that's C2E2? Star- I don't know. What that's that one of the big conventions, comic book. And Oh, right, right, right. Well, they, um, that Star Wars girl, they gave her a press pass and apparently they canceled it because oh of God. outside. So, yeah, I, I was like, you know, press on our terms, you know, when they're saying that that's not press, that's propaganda. That's why I thought it would be funny if we um, tried to go to Crime Con. Yeah. And like we signed up to be creators there and just see what would happen. I don't think they would give it to us. <laughs> I want to do a panel. I don't know what I'd talk about. You know, God knows. I would, well, the Kowalskis are going to be there or were there. I think it already happened or it's happening. No, I think mm. it's in May. Uh, but the Kowalskis are going to be there. And I think Nick Whitney, one of their attorneys, is going to be there, too. And I, I would love to go. I can't, though. The dates are all wrong for me this year. So another time. But these conventions are so garbage. We need to start our own conventions. And yeah. then we will. Then we will. And it'll be super, um, you know, it'll be super explosive and people will love it. And then they'll find a way to, to like, keep us yeah, out of they- using the convention hall. They'll say you can't use the convention hall. They've done that. I've seen that happen in the past. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember them doing that. Oh, but anyway, all right, I'm gonna end here. All right, <laughs> so all right. I gotta. I'm go. gonna, okay, you get out of here. I'm gonna play uh, the twin song for the end. So oh, I think today I is. Can't the wait. All right, here I can't we go. Wait. Here we go. You give me this, but they lead to contradiction Using fake moon bombs, say the crew of deception oh, oh, you know you're a mystery to me Every clue I find only adds to the twin entry I'm stuck in this vicious cycle That's so intense, Megan Fox searching for the truth in this perplexing romance How could things really get this far? What is justice but a declining star? Suing journalists that report this affliction While writing articles for some twisted attention Oh yeah! And the twins though so they're hard to prove And your past history's not something you can remove That umbrella guy calling out what I see With props to Dave Neal and Alain Jolie